He-Man, He-Man. Who's the big guy with the muscles? He's He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Skeletor is his enemy. He-Man, He-Man. If He-Man, Skeletor, and Castle Grace go, you have to put the castle together. You're doomed, He-Man. Oh, yeah? Watch this action, Dad. He-Man. Now I have the power. He-Man and Skeletor each sold separately. Castle Grayskull also sold separately from the Masters of the Universe collection from Mattel. Applejack cereal from Kellogg's, part of this nutritious breakfast. Children's Television, Newtonville, Mass. Tomorrow, search is there when a man has a heart attack and survives. Search reveals the secrets of Gaylord Perry's fitball. Search shows the perfect killing machine in action. It's an all-new special, Search. Then, on Thursday, Olympic medalist Toller Cranston journeys through time and space to a planet of wizards, demons, and princesses. A spectacular fantasy of ice that will dazzle the galaxies. The magic planet. An all-new special search tomorrow and the Magic Planet Thursday. During our worldwide search for my boy Tommy, we made a most unusual friend. Glider, the flying puck. Because of him, our search led to New York, where we finally found Tommy. He was being held prisoner. We came to the rescue. Now we're one big happy family. Me, Tommy, his folks, Duke, Dash, Lucky, and Dolly. But if you think our adventures are over, boy, are you wrong. We'll return after these messages. Not everyone wears zip shoes because they can help you run fast. Not everyone wears zips for traction. And not everyone wears zips for an incredible performance. But when all is said and done, it's nice to know that performance is there. Just in case you need it. It's a world of different places, it's a world of shining faces, a world where kids should have some fun, moms understand, wherever M&M's and kids go, there's no chocolate mess, cause moms know, M&M's melt in your mouth, not in your hand. All the world loves M&M's, pure milk chocolate joy in a candy shell for everyone. M&M's chocolate candies, the milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Washington, D.C. is a beautiful city, not to mention one of the most powerful places on this planet. All the secrets of our government are here. We came with Tommy and his mom and dad, who are here for an archaeological convention. Oh, boy, Bang Face, my favorite. You pups are missing the best part. Okay, you guys, we'll be back later. Be good now. Bye-bye. Huh? <laughs> Gee, our country's capital. You know, the president lives here? It makes you feel kind of patriotic. Hmm? Doesn't sound like the people in the next room are very patriotic. 
Well, that's right, Miss Hale. Get that sequence in it, but then destroy the rocket. We would... Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. Only one way to find out. We must have the plans for the solar energy rocket by tomorrow, Gibson. The secret launch is on schedule at 0900 hours. Secret launch? Lunch sounds good to me. I've got the disguises and the van is all set. Sounds like they're spies. It's something to do with a rocket launch. It's going to get dark soon. That's the best time to go to Sherman Alley. There we'll be able to find the killer dogs we need to pull it off. Wonder what they need killer dogs for. Sure do sound a mite suspicious to me. Duke, we should do something. And I know just the way to do it. We're gonna go to the Sherman Alley before they do and make sure the killer dogs they get are us. Uh, oh, well, but, but isn't that kind of dangerous and everything? I mean, I know, messing around with spies? It'd be a heap more dangerous for those plans to fall into the wrong hands. Oh, I hate intrigue and mystery and spy stuff with foreign agents. Come on, Dash. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Very slowly. Cute name. You're quite a ways from your own turf, uh, ain't you, Toots? Having any trouble, Dolly? <laughs> well, if it ain't the hero, coming to the rescue of little Miss Pretty Face. <laughs> uh, can't you take a joke? Listen, uh, be my guest. Make yourself at home. Oh, Petey, you are so brave. Uh, it was nothing. It appears we're in the right place. Well, well, looky here. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have lunch today. Oh, uh, they, they, they look like uh, pretty tough customers. Not tough enough for us. <laughs> Them dudes look hungry, Duke. Well, maybe we ought to put them on a crash diet. This one's mine! Hang in there, partner. I'll get you, you little twerp. I know you don't. Over here, Lucky. Gotcha. Thanks. I owe you one. What's the dang deal? Was just good old-fashioned teamwork, Duke. Don't you ever, ever read my lips. Pick on a pup. Well, we've struck gold. Those mutts are just what we're looking for. Yeah, they'll round out our little crew nicely. They're the are. It's working. Here you go. Nice doggies. Oh, brother. Look what I've got. Some nice steak. Come on, gang. We gotta play along. Who's playing? I feel real serious about that steak. <laughs> Good doggies. There you go. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> we'll leave these little runts behind. We've got to follow them, Petey. Follow me. Quick. The cat's pulling out. Jump. <laughs> Boy, not again, not again. You new around here? Oh, uh, 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 right. I'm uh, new. Well, I don't like your looks. Yeah, well, I, uh, I'm not too crazy about them myself. <laughs> oh, you didn't want that. 
Did you? Oh, oh no! Oh, not me! Oh, perish the thought! No, no! He's with us. Uh, you, you didn't have to go and do that. Another couple of minutes, I, I'd have had him eaten out of my paw. Right, Dash. Looks like we're gonna have to hitch another rock. There's the van. Uh, I don't know. Over there. The truck. It's our only chance. Make it here. It wasn't easy. Boy, are we in the middle of something? Yeah, we overheard that these guys are industrial spies. They work for a rival aviation company. They want to steal the rocket plans from NASA, then use them to explode the rocket so it'll look like the design was faulty. Then their firm will get the contract to redesign it. But we don't know where the launch is going to take place. I guess the only way to stop them is when they steal the plans at the NASA building. That's right, kid. They're going to use us dogs to create confusion so they can slip inside. Can you be there, pups? You betcha. NASA, they should be here any minute. And there they are. So that's Avery's disguise. Not bad. Get the fire hoses and the extinguishers. I'll call for backup. Okay, folks, we've got it under control. Where did these dogs come from, anyway? Avery's got the plans. Get him! We've got to stop him. Run away, you stupid <laughs> I got it, Dolly. Hey, they've got the briefcase. The little bitch got the plans. After him. We'll take the van. They passed all the plans. <laughs> oh, no. Back by a city. Everything is messed up. No fooling. And Nassau probably thinks Petey and Dolly were in on it. We'll return after these messages. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang, Nerf Boomerang. Easy throw in high or low. It comes back with each good throw. Boomerang, you can throw it by yourself. Nerf Boomerang from Parker Brothers. Tidal wave? No. <gasps> Big soft liquid center bubble. Big burst of flavor inside. Hey, Chief, you know why it's called tidal wave? <gasps> Bubble gum, 
yum. It's a flash flood of flavor from the very first bite. Out they go to spend their dough without their common sense. They're the dough nuts. Gabriella Bender was a careless kind of spender who bought Ooh. whatever bauble caught her eye. Here a dime and there a dollar, Gabriella never bothered to keep track of all the little things she'd buy. Well, one day she'd been out throwing money all about, buying this and buying that along the way, when she saw things so rare, something so beyond compare, that she rushed up to the register to pay. Imagine what a shock it was to find that in her pocket was no money, just some funny bits of lint. And though she struggled to recall how she could have spent it all, she just can't remember where her money went. Now, no harm can be done buying something small for fun, but this moral is what Gabrielle forgot. When you buy at every whim and don't keep track of what you spend, those little things can add up to a lot. Around the corner, Dolly! enough room in the rocket for a small pup wearing the electronic device to enter. We'll train the little pooch to slip aboard. When the rocket reaches 10,000 feet, that'll be it. I never liked dogs anyway. First us, now the spies have Petey in the plans. Oh, what do we do? First thing is to get out of here. Well, dad gum, if I had a thin piece of wire or something. I think I got something. I hope I can do it. Ooh. An old Texas hound like me knows lots of ways of getting out of fixes. Let's go. <laughs> They bring Petey back to the hideout. I can get his attention. Am I glad to see you guys? Are you okay? I'm fine. Listen, these guys really mean business. They've been teaching me to sneak aboard the rocket wearing this electronic thing around my neck. It's set to cause a malfunction when the rocket reaches 10,000 feet. Oh, Petey, that's so dangerous. She's right. We'll change places and I'll go instead. No, Duke. They think they've trained me. Besides, they need a small pup. I'll let them think I'm trained. Then, once we're in the launch area, we'll be able to expose them. All right, kid. We'll be there. Have the 
passes? Right in here. They're perfect. I forged them myself. The countdown must be on schedule. They're clearing the area. We'd better get in there. This way. Oh, oh I don't like this. Uh -uh. Can't we just call the president or something? Without Beatty and that electronic gizmo, we ain't got any proof. Let's get a move on. <laughs> okay, the pup. Okay, Pooch. The rocket. Go to the rocket. Good. I'm full enough. Using that pup was a stroke of genius. Now, to get to Duke and the others. Uh-oh, this wasn't in the plans. There they are. Let's get them, gang. The guard dogs won't find me here. The pup's on board. Let's get out of here. What the? Those dogs! Now, Lucky. Keep him covered. Petey will be here any minute with the evidence to throw these two creeps in the slammer. T minus 30 seconds and counting. Petey should be here by now. T minus 10 seconds and counting. I don't suppose Petey's. Five, four, three, two. He's got to be in the rocket. And lift off. I gotta get out of here. There's gotta be an emergency stop switch or something. All right. That alarm's gotta mean something. The booster's detaching before schedule. We'll have to maneuver it into the Potomac, away from the city. It's heading for the river. Those dogs are, uh, are crazy. <laughs> Get him out. Not yet, they don't. Giving us a hand in capturing Avery and Gibson, I believe. Boy, Dad, 
I'm real proud of our dogs. I mean, they saved the whole launch. That's right, Tommy. They really deserve those medals. Yeah, we all are, Dolly. To tell you the truth, I'd rather have some of those jelly beans. We'll return after these messages. It's fun to create with Crayola. Crayola crayons. Kids can make a lion and some elephants, too. Then a funny monkey whose hat is pink and blue. Pretty soon they're ready to play in their big top. They can make a circus show for folks like Mom and Pop. It's circus time. It's fun to create with Crayola. Crayola crayons come in this box of 64 different colors with a built-in sharpener. This place looks haunted. That'll help scare away anybody who tries to steal the secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes cereal. Steal it? Well, after all, the formula makes Frosted Flakes a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. The secret taste of Frosted Flakes makes Tony say... They're great! Tony, he almost stole the formula. <laughs> I'd say he didn't have a ghost of a chance. <laughs> Furman Key Car Collection, each sold separately. We make them look flashy, but you make them run fast. The key to speed fast. Fast. The key to speed fast. Furman Key Cars, cars with the key to speed fast. Furman Key Cars, each sold separately with a keychain from Kidco. Saturday's this fall. Who's the fastest teenager in town? Turbo Team. He's racing you into turbocharged thrills and high-speed action. And the excitement continues when you join Dirk the Daring in his quest to find the Dragon Slayer. Saturday's this fall on ABC. Presenting Ronald McDonald in Lighten Up. Breakfast time. Huh? Sure doesn't look like morning. I can't be an early bird in the dark. What's wrong with the sun, Ronald? Fly me there, Birdie, and I'll look into it. You betcha. Things are looking up already. So much farther, Ronald. We must be close. Oh. This is a step in the right direction. <laughs> hmm. The bulb's burned out. But I've got a bright idea. Put some new light on things. But how will we get to McDonald's in time for breakfast? We'll borrow a sunbeam. Whee! Back in time for breakfast at McDonald's. Yummy hotcakes and sausage. With juice and milk to make it complete. McDonald's. Proud of you. New strawberry honeycomb is going to score big. Strawberry honeycomb, here it comes. Strawberry news from Honeycomb. Natural strawberry flavor. Strawberry! Outstanding crunch! Big strawberry taste, big honeycomb fun. New strawberry honeycomb cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast.
We'll return after these messages. You can take a bite, take a bite, take an alphabet bite. You can make a game out of eating. Every letter in sight. A, B, C, X, Y, Z. You can crunch them left and right. You can take a bite. Yikes! The big pig! To get pig. away from that pig, you can bite the word big. To beat the pig at his gig, you can bite the words big pig. You can take a bite. If you want to start the day with the breakfast you can play, you can take a bite. Post alphabet cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can take a bite. New Nerf baseball. Nerf, huh? Yeah, Nerf. It's got a special hard center so you can really nail it. We'll be the judge of that. Yeah! yeah. For real baseball action, it's new Nerf baseball with a hard center. It's a big hit. Nerf baseball, huh? Not bad. Nerf baseball. New from Parker Brothers. This is the Black Hill of Ardu, once the home of an ancient race of evil giants. All the giants had gone by the time of Ethelred's reign. All the giants, that is, except one, the last of the Ardu giants. He'd been asleep for hundreds of years and would awake only if someone spoke his secret name. Large friend, soon you'll awake to do my bidding. <laughs> Back off! Once the giant awakens, nothing can stop him. He'll tear Ethelred's castle down, stone by stone. I will speak his name again. He'll return to his slumber, and the kingdom will be mine. <laughs> Enough! Get out of sight. The time has come. <laughs> and now, my ancient friend, your name I speak. Awake! Ethelred's castle seek. Quiddy? Quiddy? Quiddy on. Someone has spoken my name. The long slumber is over. Now to claim again the lands that were mine these long years ago. No, 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 that's not right at all. Try it again. I'll try again. Oh, I never knew anything could sound that awful. Poor teacher. Don't you think I'm getting better, Dirk? Uh, yes, well, uh, of course. <gasps> what, what, what was that? We'd better find out. All of you, and your puny little tassel, get off my lands! By the dragon's teeth, it's a giant! Stop in the name of King Ethelred! Oops! King who? Now I've got you right where I want you. I'll deal with you first, then I'll tear your castle down! <laughs> That's what you think! <laughs> yeah! You can't escape me! Escape nothing. You want to fight? You've got one. Whoa! Hold still so I can squash you. Oh, sure. Anything for a friend. <laughs> Come on, giant. I'm ready for you. That puny sword won't help you. Guess I'm not as ready as I thought. Now I've got you. This really isn't a fair fight. Boy, are you heavy? You'll pay 
for this? Think again, giant. I'll sacrifice myself to save the kingdom. All I have to do is let go of this tree. <sighs> All right, don't let go. I'll make a bargain with you. If you can survive a day and a night alone inside the Black Hill, I'll leave your kingdom forever. Sounds good. Hang on. Sure am glad I had a good breakfast. You don't have to go to the Black Hill if Harold can find the giant's name. Name? Yes, speak his name. Then he'll go back to sleep. I can't! The name is it here! It's an ancient secret! Well, it looks like I'm off to the Black Hill of Ardu. Not without me, you're not! All right, but only as far as the hill. I have to go in alone. What? I haven't counted on this! That stupid giant made a bargain! Dirk is just lucky enough to survive inside the Black Hill, too! <laughs> Quiet! Get to the Black Hill! Make certain that Dirk does not survive! <laughs> Are you sure you want to go through with this, Sir Dirk? I'm worried about you, Dirk. I made a bargain. Now, get back to the castle and keep an eye on that giant. Wow! Look at that! See you in the morning. Oh, I get the feeling there's something really weird going on. <gasps> something like... Giddy Goons! before they see us. Ouch! <laughs> Timothy! <laughs> Come on, Bertram! This isn't very comfortable, Bertie! right? And that means we have to go to Singe's castle, right? Singe must know the giant's name. We have to make him tell us. Yeah, sure. Hey, this place isn't so bad. I'll just find myself a quiet spot to spend the night. Daphne was all worried over nothing. Hmm, must be the night watchman. Yeah! Hmm. Yeah! I'll have to be more careful. Hmm. Uh, 
I hope I didn't wake you. Uh-oh. Dirk was really in a pickle. Thanks to Singer's giddy goons, he had crypt creeps in front of him and deadly black goo behind him. How would you have gotten out of it? We'll return after these messages. My husband is about to eat a new candy. <laughs> new super fruity bonkers. My son thought bonkers was gum. He knows it's candy now. Chewy fruity candy with this extra fruity inside. So super fruity when you eat bonkers fruit candy. Bonkers. Bonks you out. Some candy. Artificially flavored. Don't pout. Check it out. Zach's gonna show you what works about. Listen up, children, if you wanna know what tomorrow will bring and where you will go. Gotta find your dreams and goals. Time to pick your schemes and roles. Make a choice, Jack. Can't lie on your back all day. No way, no way, no way. Make a choice, Jill. Can't lie on the hill all day. No way, no way, no way. You both can make choices about a career in any old field without any fear. You can be what you want. It becomes very clear when you believe in yourself and take time to prepare. Let's think about a career. We can both be an engineer or learn about the atmosphere. Oh, here's the road, Zach. They've got the knack. It's clear. They're on the right track to a career. Messy Marvin and his pal Wally are making a news report for school. Perfecto! Let's have some chocolate milk. The great taste of chocolate milk made with good old-fashioned Hershey's chocolate syrup. This is gonna be delicious. Sure looks good. Wait until you taste it. Delicious, you say. Nice work, Marvin. Thanks. It was easy. I can see that. Hershey's chocolate syrup. It's... Delicious. What would you have done if you were Dirk? Attacking the nasty crypt creeps would have ended up this way. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not exactly the wisest choice. Dirk could have tried a tactical retreat, but that meant getting past the nasty black goo. That would have been a rather messy solution. Dirk, however, was pretty sharp. He had heard the giddy goons chuckling away behind the door. Did you figure out what Dirk decided to do? If I do say so myself. Hmm. I'm losing weight. That giant tricked me. I'd better find a way out of here fast. Yes, the giant tricked Dirk. The Black Hill itself was turning Dirk into a skeleton. By morning, there would be nothing left unless Daphne and Timothy could find out the giant's secret name. get Sims to tell us the giant's name. Shh. I have it all figured out. I could use one of these. Well, I, I guess he won't mind. Of course not. It's just an empty suit of armor. <laughs> Timothy, I told you to be quiet. No! Wait for me! 
This leads to Singe. That's what worries me. And, uh, and protect you. Oh no! <laughs> Must you be so clumsy, Timothy? <laughs> Tim. You don't have to tell me that. Yeah! This is it. We found it. The dragon's lair. Yeah. Now what? Oh, well, <laughs> this is as far as my plan went. There's got to be a way out of here. There was a way out, and Dirk had to find it before he turned to bones. I better take the stairs. Uh, maybe I won't take the stairs. Singer's giddy goons once again, but how much longer could he last? Fortunately, Daphne had a new plan, sort of. Okay, get one of those lanterns. Well, here goes. Good going. Now, watch this. Do I have to? It's working quick. Make noises like a giant. <laughs> What the? Widian, what are you doing here? We got it, Tim! We got the name! Yeah, and I think we're about to get something else, too. You're not the child! You're just a puny princess! Puny? Why, I'll have you no I... Yeah, I think we should leave now. After them! They know the giant's name! This way! There's a tunnel ahead! Well, maybe there's another way! No time! Away from Singe! Faster, idiots! Faster! Oh no! It's Singe! You 
won't escape me! Look, Tim! We're almost at the end! You can say that again! We can't stop this thing! Guess I finally got rid of those giddy goons. <laughs> Maybe this is the way out. Whoa! Whoa! Daphne! Timothy! Dirk! You look terrible! You really know how to make a night feel good. We've got to get you out of here! That's the only door I haven't tried. It must be the way out. Good boy, Bert. You're always there when I need you. <laughs> it's morning and no dirk. Time to claim my old lands. Hold on, giant. We had a bargain. Remember? You've got no bargain with me. Singe was right. He cheated everybody. With the giant on one side and with Singe on the other, what could Dirk do? He knew he couldn't beat the giant, so he could have had a go with Singe. he -yah! Mm. But then again, maybe that wasn't the best plan. Dirk wisely decided to use his one real weapon, a giant's secret name. Quick, Daphne, say the name! No! Gwydion! Gwydion! Look, it worked! You've ruined everything! I say well done, my boy. Very well done to you all. We saved the kingdom, Dirk. Yes, we did. Thus was the kingdom saved. Daphne wrote down the secret name just in case that nasty giant ever returned. And that's how I happen to know the legend of the giant's name. We'll return after these messages. Inside the city of Tuthopolis... Our powerful secret weapon, Advanced Formula Crest Gel, is ready. And just in time as... Cavity creeps attacking! Pull out the Crest Team! Holes, holes, holes in teeth! Crest Gel, Crest Gel! Crest Gel with Morristat! Ready, sir! Fire away! <laughs> Repelled by Crest Gel! Yeah! Watch sweets! See your dentist! And fight the cavity creeps with our great-tasting secret weapon! Advanced, Advanced Formula, Formula Crest Gel! Next! He always wins. We'll never play each other. Get him win. I'll hide his paddle. Buddy, let's play catch! Nope. Checkers? No thanks. No one can say no to quick. Yeah! Want some quick? Quick! Mmm! <laughs> quick is rich! And thick! And milk chocolatey! That was good. Guess I'll go practice. Ready to play. Nestle Quick Chocolate Flavor. No one can say no to quick.
those little Keebler elves make them commonly good cookie snacks. They do it magically in a hollow tree. To make these Keebler swirly two sticks ingenuity. Swirl in the chocolate. The elves swirl a river of real chocolate through delicious shortbread cookies. So there's a taste of chocolate in every bite of Swirly Q's. <laughs> Next. In the Keebler hollow tree. Where we make crackers and cookies uncommonly good. Oh! Hey, I got a birdie. Sorry, Toucan Sam. Just getting a little golf before breakfast. Breakfast, my sporting bear. Get your clubs. We'll soon be there. Follow my nose. Tee it on. It always knows. It's Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors and a full day supply of vitamin C. Part of this complete breakfast. Mmm, good. Golfers always like Fruit Loops. Why? There's a hole in every one. <laughs> It was a stormy night when a bolt of lightning forced me off the road. My car skidded into a government laboratory where a top secret experiment was underway. I swerved into the path of Dr. Chase's molecular transfer ray, causing me and my car to become one. The incredible Turbo Team! We'll return after these messages. Lighten up, take a bite, so soft and creamy, it's so dreamy. Three musketeers, every bite fluffy and yummy, a chocolate cloud, so smooth and light, a most chocolate bite, both delicious, delightful, fluffy. Run. But we're not ready. Tiki needs a tuna. Oil. Lou. I'd like you to meet your passenger, Paula. Hi. Of course, there's nothing a super mechanic such as myself can't handle in a jiffy. Paula is a government witness. She must be in New York by Thursday to testify against the dragon. The dragon? The international jewel thief? Paula can put him away for good. But the dragon has vowed to keep her out of the courtroom. He's got his men watching every airport, train station, and bus depot in town. So the Daredevil run is a cover. It's a route the dragon won't suspect. Take your positions. I'm counting on you. We'll meet in New York. I really can't thank you guys enough. No big deal. We put our lives on the line for people in need every day. Oh, brother. Coldwell's leaving, but the girl's not with him. What next, Dragon? It was a nice try, but Caldwell didn't pull it off. The girl's in the race. Get her! Arizona already? We're making great time! The Dragon was right. She's in the red car. It's 
mother, really. Built it myself from the struts on up. Hey, knock it off. Alex, look out! Yeah, keep your eye on the road, Alex. Who was that? Uh, yeah, uh, Paula, I'd like you to meet my computerized car, Turbo Team. The pleasure's mine. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Ouch! Somebody really wants to win this race. Uh-oh! I'm losing it! Oh! I'm betting that was more than an overzealous racer! Let's see if you'd lose that bet. That's... that's the sign of the dragon! He's on to me! Alex? You're looking at a dude who's got it under control. I think the car deserves a little credit, too, Alex. <laughs> no sign of him. Up ahead, I think I see something. This ought to flip him out, huh, Alex? What's he doing? Whoa! Still a long way from New York. You, you, you should have seen it. The car, it was unbelievable. Trade, don't give me excuses. Give me the girl. You're some driver, Alec. We're right back with the leaders. Well, some people have said I'm the next Mario Andretti. Alex? Of course, behind every great driver, there's a great car. Food! Thank goodness, I'm starved! <laughs> hey, hey, what about me? Well, we'll see if we can scrounge up a couple quarts of oil. Great. Men. If they see me, we're through. I got you! I got you! I hope they return the favor. Hey! That car squirted me! Ha <laughs> ha! You're all wet! <laughs> well, that ought to do it. Wow! It's a little trick I learned in auto shop. What we need is a plan, some way to nail the dragon before he gets to you. And we better come up with it fast. The dragon's men are outside. Brett! Uh, Paula, this is our friend Brett. Caldwell thought you might need my help. Hurry, they're coming! I don't see them. Maybe they went out back. <laughs> We're taking our lunch to go. That was close. They almost got Paula. What if we gave them Paula? Then we could follow them to the dragon's hideout. Uh, uh, no way. No way. Too dangerous. I'd risk myself first. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way, Alex. Hmm? Nothing like a hot day to get us back in the race. A touch of realism?
All set here. Not bad. I think he's ready. Do I have to wear lipstick? If you want the dragon to believe you're Paula. Too bad Brett couldn't stay to see this. Oh, I think he gets the picture. The tracking device is in the comb, Alex. Hurry, here they come. Good luck, and thanks. Help me. My car, it's stuck. There's the girl. Where are the others? Must have gone for help. Oh, no. Not you. Oh, help. Put me down, you brute. Sister, you got a date with the dragon. <laughs> Like a charm. How's the tracking device? Loud and clear. Let's follow. Wake up, Paula. They seem to be slowing. Gee, I must have dozed off. We're in Iowa already? We've got them. They must be arriving at the dragon's lair. What's up, Rusty? Dark Rider! What's he doing here? Come on! Oh, I'm stuck! We'll return after these messages. Constructs you build. Constructs. Constructs and new space constructs with pieces that glow in the dark. Each sold separately. Monster! It's a monster. A big new stomper monster. 4x4 Crimson Crusher. Batteries not included. Slide the driver behind the wheel and you can watch its rugged front suspension system smooth out even the roughest roads. And this powerful winch turns tough jobs into child's play. The Stomper Monster 4x4 Desperado and Crimson Crusher. Each sold separately from Shopper. Hunter the Conqueror is about to attack Max still the leader. Wrecker the Demolisher to the rescue. Ideal's new Roboforce. Warrior robots with gripper bases and crusher arms. Each sold separately. Hundreds escaping. Okay in there? Okay, Dad. But we won't be safe till we're rid of Hundred. Hundred the Conqueror, Max Steel the Leader, Wrecker the Demolisher, each sold separately. New from Ideal's RoboForce. Wanna do something, Turbo Teen? Get out! There's one chance! Turbo Thrust, don't fail me now! He's coming back, Turbo! Who would expect Dark Rider to give up his A pitchfork? Well, that's worth a try. Who can play at this, Dark Rider? Closer, Turbo! Dark Rider dropped his makeup kit! Well, right now, nothing's gonna stop us from following Alex to the Dragon! Ray, I had to say something. It's getting cold! Red! Where's Turbo Team? Turbo Team? <laughs> I, I sent him to get gas. Wow, what a car! 
Without your tracking device, how will we find Alex? I remember the coordinates, but we're going to have to walk as long as it keeps raining. You won't get away with this! You and the dragon are going to jail! Is that so? That's right! I'm going to put you away, you rotten crook! I doubt it! My hairdresser's gonna hear about this. A setup? Well, when his friends come for him, <laughs> we'll be waiting. Alex is in danger, and it's all because of me! Don't give up yet, Paula. The train station. That's gotta be where the dragon's holding out. Come back! It's Alex's wig! Then the dragon's on to him. They must be on the train. Go! We've got company. Care for some chow? Yeah, something nice and hot. Uh, come on, Paula. Let's check the train for the dragon and Alex. Just beans, but they'll warm you up. I wish there was another way. Yuck! I hope they're hot enough. No, oh, it's working! the dragon. I think they're alone. Good. I've got a plan. Room service. Come in. I don't remember ordering anything. It's a surprise. T.T. when you need it. That's your service, Alex. They're all yours, Turbo Team. I told you about that car. Run! Can't follow us up here. A tunnel. Here goes nothing. Okay, gang, it's New York or bust. You'll have to jump. If the girl gets to the trial, I'm finished. We've got to beat them to New York. He's aiming 
for your time. Step on it. Where are we going? Good question. I think I overthrust it. Turbo Team! Uh, I mean, he's, he's Brett! You're kidding. It's okay, Alex. Paula, this will have to be our little secret. I get a change to Turbo Team. Hmm. Beauty Pop. Come on, Brett. High heat coming up. <laughs> Just getting a perm. He's heading over the river! This is gonna take perfect timing! Gotcha! A car can't do that! When it did, shake him off! Now that's the car with guts! And he needs our help! Come on! The grappling hook! Ready? Coming at you, TT. All right, it's hooked onto my axle. I'll just reel us in. It's working. He's pulling us down. There's nothing I can do. We can handle the dragon from here, but you only have five minutes to get Paula to court. Doesn't the guy ever say thanks? We've still got a minute before the trial starts. Oh, look at the car! Order in the court. Here you go, Paula. Coast to coast delivery. You guys have been terrific. I... I don't know what to say. Say you'll meet me after the trial for some pizza. You're on. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor. Well, maybe not the whole truth. We'll return after these messages. This crispy corn cereal has added new Super Pac-Man marshmallows like me, the biggest ghost chomper of all! Ooh, ooh. Ghost Chompers! I'm a ghost chomper too! It's Pac-Man! Let's solve in good part of a nutritious breakfast with me! And me! Super Pac-Man! It's coming Saturday night, January 12th. Your chance to shine with the best of them on Weekend with the Stars. The spectacular telethon for United Cerebral Palsy. Join the biggest stars in Hollywood for 19 and a half hours of fabulous entertainment. It all starts at 11.30 with telethon host Russ Coglin, Pete Wilson, and Melanie Morgan. Don't miss your chance to shine with the best of them. On Weekend with the Stars, the telethon for United Cerebral Palsy. Saturday night, January 12th on Channel 7. Friday, a hooking trucker tries to steer his way into Gretchen's life when she and Benson are marooned overnight at a truck stop on Benson. Then a hilarious conspiracy leads to a heartwarming reunion for a runaway daughter and her family on Webster, followed by Street Hawk. Now stay tuned for Dragon's Lair, following ABC's Schoolhouse Rock, next.
Mr. and Mr. Cheers. They got the answers at the fingertips. When school lets out, I race right home. I'm faster than the bus. I just can't wait to see my friend who's come to live with us. He's quite unique, this friend of mine, like none you've ever seen. He's full of fancy circuitry. Instead of fingers, he has feet. And where a normal face should be, he's got Mr. Chips is quite a whiz. He works with lightning speed. He gives me information and the answers that I need. He's got a super memory, but I'm what makes him tick. He's programmed so that he reacts. When I feed him data, those are facts. He sorts them out and answers back. We'll return after these messages. Gotta hurry, Funshine. Can't be late. Wake up, there, Sam Bear. It's Kenner's Care Bears, each sold separately. Every day can be a Care Bear day. You can play in a caring way. Welcome to our treehouse, Love Lop Bear. You too, Funshine Bear. Rise and shine, Bedtime Bear. <laughs> Every day can be a Care Bear day. Each sold separately, Bedtime Bear, love -a Bear, and Funshine Bear are part of the Care Bears collection from Kenner. Stay tuned for Dragon's Lair next. This is ABC. Our reaches of the universe is the star planet Symbion. A perfect world until their biological experiments exploded. Creating an exotic realm beyond all belief. As mutant life forms ravaged their global paradise, a new and incredible species emerged. The Sectars. With Prince Dargon leading his warriors of the Shining Realm against the evil General Spydrax. He would destroy all to rule all. His terror troops of the Dark Domain know no mercy. These are the Sectars, the warriors of Symbion.
ancient hives of Symbion hold the powers to rule the planet. The evil Spydrax knows the map to one of those hives is here in the Shining Realm. Part one of Spydrax's vicious plan for conquest is about to begin. belong to the dark domain. You're wrong, Mantor. The map is the key. The map. Venom. You idiot toxic. He could have killed me.
Spygrax. Regroup for attack. Dargon, it's almost night. They can see in the dark. We can't. But you did good, young prince. There's plenty of time to cut Spydrax down to size. Look on the bright side. We made those maggots turn tail and run. Hmm. Did we? You bet we did. Now, let's go finish them off. Prince Dargon, my name is Secor. I want to join your fight against Spydrax. <laughs> I like your guts, kid. Great! When do we attack Spydrax? After you go home. Come back in a few years. But... It's too dangerous. Mantor. Don't touch him. He's covered with venom. Get back. Wretched powder is worse than the poison. <sighs> Up you go. Skeeto got my map to the ancient hive. The hive? If Spydrax gets to the hive, the secrets of the ancients will be his. If that happens, the Shining Realm will die. And all of Symbion will be under his evil rule. Darkon, wait. Without a plan, you are doomed. I'm going to stop Spydrax. Me too. You again? You need me. No, we don't. Go home. But I'm telebonded to the highest flying oh. insectoid in the realm. Come on, Zack. I'll show them. There, Spydrax's castle. I knew we'd find it all to fly. You're not going anywhere, boy. Sectars will continue after these messages. The Battle of the Sectors begins. Heroic Dargon, leader of the forces of good, is ambushed by evil Sectors. With the help of his loyal insectoid Dragonflyer, he fights them off. But they're just bait for the real trap. A far more treacherous enemy is waiting. The evil General Spytrax. Will heroic Dargon be caught in his web? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. The two-fisted 4x4 four four that's not afraid to cross the danger line. Now it comes across like a crossboss. Crossboss carries its own automatic bridge to climb and conquer anything. Now it comes across like a crossboss, crossboss. Crossboss, batteries not included. Another power machine from Galoo. Rock, Lord, rocks the come alive. Control their appearance, but no force in the universe can contain the power and the fury of Rock Lord. Shaking, quaking, crashing, breaking. Rock Lord, powerful living rock. He's sold separately, new from Tonka. Bearing Cobra Commander no longer has the ability to lead, Destro and Dr. Mindbender comb the tombs of the most evil leaders in history and from their genetic tissues produce a composite clone, the ultimate Cobra Emperor, Serpentor. Introducing Serpentor, the ultimate Cobra Emperor. Serpentor! Serpentor! The most evil foe of G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe! Cobra! Cobra Emperor comes with air chariot. Cars. Take him! Buzz off, creep! Ah! Multiply! Get out! Don't let him get away! He's hit! You've got to make it all to fly. You've got to. Man <laughs> 
Minotaur's research is perfect. His map will lead us to the ancient hive. <laughs> and with the secrets from the great hive, we will destroy the Shining Realm. And Prince Dargon. We owe Mantor a toast to Mantor and his map. <laughs> Move it! And get your claws off of me! Zargon mm, must be close. Double the guard. I have a plan. If I know Spyrax, he's brought the map here to his fortress. Then all we have to do is finish him. Let's go. One down! Spydrax's chamber must be up here! It's too quiet. The map! It's in there! Hold it! Spydrax and his nightcrawlers are in there too. I'll take out the nightcrawlers. Spydrax is mine. Spytar, sick him! Look who's here! <laughs> you are saving us the trouble of killing you later! I've got your little friend Seekor locked up nice and tight! Seekor! Hurt that boy and I'll... Get the map! I've got it! Kill them! Not if I can help it! Seacor and stop Spydrax from getting to the ancient hive. Maybe we can stop him. How? Spydrax has your map. Yes, but I know the map. We can follow him. We have to cross the lake of blood. Sounds like fun. No one has ever returned from the lake of blood. Zach, 
thunderous spell. Free the others and let's fly out of here. Whew, I've had it. Yeah. This forest is the only way to the hive of the ancients. And the only way to rescue Secor from Spydrax. What if Spydrax took a shortcut? There is no shortcut on the map Spydrax stole from me. That kid Seacor's insectoid. He's badly wounded. Get my medicines. Where's Seacor? He's telebonded to Seacor, but maybe I can reach him. Where is Seacor? He is still with Spydrax on the other side of the forest. This will help him. We're going to surprise Spydrax. We're going to surprise Spydrax with a giant worm? Not exactly. That's a tunnel worm. He is going to help us surprise Spydrax. Move northwest. Move it, worm. We must be under Spydrak's camp by now. What was that? Wasp 
on, Secor. Beginner's luck. Retreat! Nothing is over. We still have to keep Spydrax from using my map to get to the hive of the ancients. Well, at least we don't have far to go. Look up there. will continue after these messages. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Evil General Spydrax ambushes heroic Dargon and drags him off. While their insectoids clash, Dargon bakes in the blistering heat of Symbion's twin sons. Near death, Dargon summons all of his remaining strength to send an urgent signal to his telebonded insectoid. But is it too late for Dargon? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. Now, Hordak reveals the most gruesome trap ever. The Horde Slime Pit. The what? The Slime Pit. Now, Spike, or you're my slave. Not the slime. Yes, my slime will overpower you. I've been slime. No one escapes the evil Horde Slime Pit. Yeah. Evil Horde Slime Pit, new from the Masters of the Universe. You put it together, action figures each sold separately from Mattel. A little bit of magic happens when you give my child its first kiss on the nose. Perhaps my child will start to take an interest in butterflies. Or music. Or climbing trees. Maybe she'll take her very first steps. Or travel very, very far. But the one thing my child will always do is be your child. My child, from Mattel. Dolls and accessories sold separately. Punky Brewster will return after these messages. Oh, 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 my best friend and an Oreo cookie. She loves the crunchy chocolate. I like the creamy middle. Been eating them this way since we were very little. We'll always be friends with O-R-E-O. Friends are better when you pair them. Oreo.
Oreos are better when you share them. Oreo cookies. Share them. Nabisco. My Little Pony. It's the comedy pony. adventure you've been waiting for. My Little Pony, the movie. What happens when three evil witches try to destroy Ponyland with ugly purple smooths? Can Megan and her brother Danny help the ponies stop the witches? My Little Pony stars Danny DeVito as the Grundle King, Madeline Kahn and Rhea Perlman as the Witch Sisters, Cloris Leachman as their mother, Hidia, and Tony Randall as the Moochick. You'll love My Little Pony, the movie. It's rated G and it opens at theaters everywhere the Friday after school's out. We now return to Punky Brewster. Looks like we walk home. That Bigelow job must really have Henry tied up. Mr. Bigelow? The magazine publisher? Hello, Punky friend. Brandon! Glomer! I hope Henry didn't see you leave. Henry busy being upset. Oh, my. Henry? Upset? Why? Big load. Bigelow? Big load, let go! Mr. Bigelow let Henry go? Poor Henry, fired. That skunk Bigelow isn't gonna get away with this. See you at the park, guys, whenever you get there. My dress! It's got dirt on it! Sorry, Margo. I just wanted to ask you to my dad's party. I'm not that desperate. Cherry. That's Avery Bigelow, son of Mr. Bigelow. I think I've just found a way to get Henry's job back. No way! I'd rather take out the garbage than go to the party with that wimp. If you go to the party, we can come too. And then I can talk to Avery's dad about giving Henry his job back. Well, I'm sorry about Henry. But I do have my reputation to think of. If she'd stop jogging for just one minute. 60 seconds and counting. Lomer! Forget it, Punky. Nothing you can say will get me to that party. What if I told you Avery's dad is a publisher of Beauty Magazine? And they're always looking for cover models. Beauty Magazine? Cover models? What time is the party? This afternoon. One, zero! <laughs> but my hair! I've got to get to the beauty shop. Don't worry. All we need to know is right here in this magazine. Now, are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure. I've done this hundreds of times to my doll. How do you want your egg shampoo, Margo? Scrambled or fried? <laughs> Your mud pack's ready. That's part of Marco's beauty treatment. It does look pretty yucky. I know, punky friend. You try beauty secret from Shandun. Glomer, you promise nothing will go wrong? <laughs> You'll love it. So, here we go, Glomer. Your beauty treatment is almost over. All we have to do is wait for this to dry. All done. Hey, guys, I need help. Anything wrong? Oh, no. We have to take this off slowly. We stretch your face and get wrinkles. Wrinkles? Take all the time you need. Mama, can you get it off? Oh, pizza pretzel. Well? <gasps> the mother's kid walks on. I try again. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, how do I look? Oh, uh, remarkable. Well, of course. I started out not half bad. Well, now you're all bad. 
time for your beauty sleep. The party is just two hours away. Glomer, what did you do to Margo's face? <laughs> she got fox like big looks now, huh? You've got to change your back. Back? What's her throat we gotta worry about? Oh, it'll wear off. In time. Yeah, but how much time? Hurry, you guys, we're gonna be late. I can't believe you're going through with this, Punky. If we miss a party, Harry will never get his job back. So, I'll be Margo until Margo is Margo again. Huh? Meanwhile, you two keep Margo out of sight until her face turns back to normal. All set to, all set to party. Oh! Sorry, Glomer, but this party is not for you. But I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Now let's get Margo and get the show on the road. I don't understand why I'm wearing this dumb cape. Only you were daring enough for the prince look. Well, that is true. Let's go to the party already. No, not yet. You don't want to, uh, spoil your entrance by arriving early. I guess not. I'm glad you came, Margo. Oh, it was my pleasure, Avery. So, when can I meet your dad? He'll be down later. Hey, where's Punky? Punky? Ah, uh, I'll go find her. Uh, hi, Avery. I've been looking all over for you. Hi, Punky. Would you and Margo like to see the garden? No! I mean... Margo said she'd meet you by the punch bowl. Okay. Cherry, how is it going? Does that answer your question? <laughs> Keep checking. Gotta get back to Avery. Hey, Punky, what you down to? Glomer, I told you to stay home. You say, see you later, and I say, later is now, <laughs> right? You're going to blow everything. Wait for me at the duck pond. Right. How long do you think we can pull this off? Enough's enough. It's time for my grand entrance. Oops, you pulled it off all right, Alan. your dad. Punky! You know who is in the kitchen with what's her name. And you know what that means. What? Avery, we've got to powder our noses. But I don't have to powder my nose. Now you do. I'm ruined. I'll never get asked to the high school prom. Margo, calm down. We can talk about this. Don't think you're off the hook, Punky Brewster, because you're next. It's you, your old self again. Another trick, huh? Margo, stop and look at yourself. This is ridiculous. We need a second opinion. Oh, Avery, would you step in here a minute? Sure, Margo. Margo! Don't look at me! I'm ugly! You're beautiful, Margo. And so modest besides. Don't torture me! My face is... Beautiful! Gorgeous! Stunning! Modest, huh? But I still don't understand. Sorry, Avery. I can explain. You see, I need to meet your dad. You wish to speak with me? Mr. Bigelow. I'm 
Punky Brewster, and I think you're a low-down worm. A rotten personality. What? Henry Warnemont is the best photographer in the whole world, and... Punky! Henry, you don't have to beg for your job back. I'll do it. But I have my job. That's why I'm here. You mean this guy didn't hire you? Not yet. Um, wonderful party, Mr. Bigelow. We'll discuss this later, Punky. But first, you clean up this mess. The whole kitchen? Every last pot and pan. Yes, Henry. Wanna dance? Love to. Tell me about your life. Your dreams. Your father's magazine. How are we getting this mess anyway? Gloomer? Yeah, Punky. Why did you tell me Henry got fired? I didn't say fired. Say Big Lord let go. See? Big Lord has friend and dog torn on Henry's leg. <laughs> Henry says, let go! <laughs> Big Lord, let go. Simple. He did say that, Punky. Yeah. It was an honest mistake. Really. So, who's gonna try? Punky Brewster will return after these messages. Part of this nutritious breakfast. We now return to Punky Brewster. I can't believe it. Ten minutes ago, the sun was out. I guess we can forget about playing catch, Brandon. We're gonna be squishy by the time we get home. Unless... <laughs> now, Glomer, genius or what? Super Glomer. Hey, it might clear up. A rainbow. Shandoon! Glomer, wait! <laughs> Shandoon! Shandoon! Sure you will. You told me so yourself. Remember, it was the first day I met you. Holy mackinole! That's the biggest rainbow I've ever seen. Let's see where it goes. Wow! Fantastical! It's a magic village at the end of the rainbow with leprechauns and a gold mine. 
'Twas another good day at the mine, eh, Glomleys? Oh, you're good little helpers, that you are. And those cute little animals. They're family. Oops. Oh, Goofnitz, Saba Day. Billy, Billy, Billy Cup. I gotta get cheery. You'll never believe this. Rainbow doesn't go away before we get back. You know, I've got the strangest feeling we're being followed. I guess not. Something's back here. Followed Brandon. What are you? Skiddy dee! I didn't mean to scare you. I'm Punky, and this is Brandon. Wazo? Sorry, English no too goodly. Oh, I. Pluma, from village called Shandur. Pluma, huh? What exactly are you? Oh, I am Plumly, Leprechaun Helper. Gee, are you supposed to leave the rainbow? Oh, no problem. Pluma have, oh, let's see, five, six clicks on before rainbow leave. Oh, no. My handlebars. They're all bent. What problem? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> that? Oh, very easy. Everyone can do in Shandu. Very, very easy. Wow! Now, you showing me your village? Well, it's a little bigger than a village. We call it Chicago. What do you think? I call it uh, okay. But why are you wearing the bling patch? What's a bling patch? Well, you know, bling patch. Lomer, stop that. You've got to hide yourself. I get it, bling patch. Oh, no. You can't just walk into the street like that. Hmm. Big Boom tried to mibble at me. <laughs> hmm. That's one teaching him lesson learned. Gloomy, you've got to stop this magic stuff. If someone sees you, who knows what they'll do? Oh, sorry, punky friend. I stay put, not moving, sit right here, glued the basket. Oh, yum, yum. Hey, where's my hot dog? Glomer, you can't just take people's food. But Glomer Ibowitz. Ibblewitched? Wait, uh... Ah! You say hungry. Hungry? That we can take care of! Okay, two salami and cheese, one meatball, and one sausage. Right! What are you having? I'll figure out something. Wait for me here, okay? So no one will see you. 
You can counting on me. Hi, guys. Punky, where have you been? At the park. If you can keep a secret, I'll tell you what I found. Brandon got itchel. I have scratchel. Hey, Marky, did you see what I saw? I say we grab the little turkey and see what else he can do. You owing me one now, huh? Ooh. <laughs> And he can really do all those magic things? Yeah, you'll see for yourself. He's gone. Did I also mention he likes to play tricks? He's not the only one, Punky. <coughs> what is it, Brandon? Is Glomer in trouble? <coughs> Those no good punks, they must have Glomer stashed in the bag. If Glomer is magic, why doesn't he just disappear or something? I don't know. He must be scared. So, here's how we're gonna save him. And we don't have much time. Who knows when the rainbow will disappear? Wonder what's keeping the guys. What was that? Hey, hey, it's raining money. This is real nice of you, Margo. Donating your allowance. Yes, I know. Generosity is one of my finer qualities. Got it! Over here! Momo, quick, in here! Oh, Punky Fan! So good to see you! Shh! Hey, he's escaping! <laughs> Got him! Whoa! Come on! Hey, man! Forget messing with that thing! I can't believe I saw what I saw! I told you he was magic. <gasps> it's going! It's going without Glomer! Gee! The rainbow is disappearing! I'm going after him! Wait! Glomer! Soon? No, it's not the same. Shandon only coming once every hundred years old. Gloma, <laughs> all alone now. You're not alone. You've got me and Brandon. You can stay with us until Shandon comes back. <laughs> really? You're gonna have to be a secret. Even from Henry, somebody might take you away. But today? Oh, okay. Anyway, 100 years is not so long. So, um, you having big American mansion? You see, your mom and dad will be back. You just gotta believe. I know. You're right, Punky. <laughs> you are the toast. That's most. And so are you, Glomer. I am? <laughs> Thanks, Funky.
Punky Brewster will return after these messages. Hey, Davey, get lost, will you? Hey, hey, let the kid in. Hey, I know, I know. What are you doing? Hey, Davey, uh... Want to try something? Hey, come on, man. Leave him alone. Come on, try it, Davey. I don't like this. Try it. Come on, take a hint. No, thanks. Kid's gonna be all right. If someone offers you drugs... What is it with you guys? Just say no. Ah, that's Jenny. But that's not Jenny's dad. If she gets into that car, that may be the last time you'll see Jenny. I'm McGruff, the crime dog. See those kids? Every day in this country, 60 kids disappear. Some run away, but a lot are kidnapped by strangers. Or even by people they know. So write to McGruff and teach your kids to protect themselves. Help uh, take a bite out of crime. We now return to Punky Brewster. with Lucky Charms. Oh, no! Stuck up here with a whale on me rainbow and swirled whale marshmallows in me cereal. Come on, let's get him down. Oh! Oh! Yikes! Oh, we made things worse. How long can it keep bouncing? And how long will there be swirled whale marshmallows in Lucky Charms? That's still up in the air. But you kids can help Lucky and the whale get down on boxes of Lucky Charms, part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh! I don't know. Come on, lighting matches can be fun. What's so hot about playing with matches? Every year, thousands of people are hurt or are left homeless by the careless use of fire. Fire is a tool. We cook with it, it keeps us warm, it gives us light. But it can be very dangerous. It is not a toy to be played with. Because if you use fire improperly, it can cause a lot of trouble. It can even cost you your life. You burn me up, Harry. What's the point of playing with fire when you could burn both of us? Or burn something that we don't want to burn, like my books here. Gee, I never really thought of that. Would you want to do something real fun? Yeah. Let's go see the creature that ate Ralph. Now there's a hot idea. Come on. And that's when to grow on. Now, at a planet near you is Blaster Tag, laser combat that's out of this world. See your own blaster beam, cut through the night, through the fog, and score a direct hit on the enemy. Test your skills individually or in teams and break new ground with Blaster Tag's unique gravity. Blast off to Blaster Tag, 439 Hialeah Drive in the Essex Shopping Center. For passport information, call 888-7723. That's 888-7723 for Blaster Tag, where fantasy becomes reality. Sandy Payton reports on Marriage Over 30, Monday, live at... Okay, Brian, I'm ready for the next show. This is something I can identify with. A girl from the year 3010. How old are you? Well, let me put it this way. I've got dandruff older than your planet. Wow. Yeah, hey, that's nothing. I've got a cousin who's got a beard older than my dandruff. Yeah, right. Quiet. Laser Tag Academy is coming on. Beam me up, Brian! A thousand years from now, a perfect world. 
Laser tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxton Greer. through time in his quest to conquer the future. He is pursued by Jamie Jaron. Jamie must team with her ancestors, Tom, Beth, and Nikki Jaron. Join us now in their adventure through time to preserve the past, save the future, and keep the peace established by the Laser Tag Academy. Laser Tag Academy will return up these messages. I want to get out with the sunshine, but it's the perfect time to play now. Just my friends who find a fruit roll-up. We're having fun on a Saturday. We love a fruit roll-up. And we're crazy about fruit bars. Real fruit fun. Yeah, they're the ones. We love the same things they do. We love a fruit roll-up. And a fruit corn is fruit bars. Do you believe in magic? You will with your next box of Cheerios. Free inside is a magic trick, like this disappearing coin trick. Seven tricks in all, one free in marked boxes of Cheerios. Now do you believe in magic? You bet I do. We now return to Laser Tag Academy. Come on, Beth. How many more do you need? It's not the quantity, it's the quality. And I'll know when I get there. Do all the kids work this hard on their final history project? Hey, you kids. Come have a look at my treasures. This could be it. Spare me. No more. Look around, because I'm offering treasures from my seafaring days for a pittance of their worth. You'd be helping a simple man save the only home he's ever known. Your boat? That's right. The Caribbean Queen, I call her. As sure and as steady as they come. But I'll lose her if I don't come up with the money. Ah, oh, you probably want something a little unusual. Wouldn't you know I have just the item? Stay put. This spyglass is just like what the buccaneers use. You know about pirating? I love everything about them. Well, this spyglass has been in my family forever. Really? Absolutely. Have you ever heard of the great pirate Redbeard? The scourge of the Caribbean? It was his. What a beauty. Why do you want to sell it? Like I told you, the money. I only have a few dollars. It's worth a lot more than that. It's more important for me that it goes to someone who'll really appreciate it. with some way we could help that guy. What do you want to do? Put on a rock concert for him? Hey, there's something stuck in here. A pirate's treasure map from 1748. Why don't you give it back to the captain? I've got another idea. Come on, let's go home. Good news.
news for once. Dreer star sensor has malfunctioned. He's stuck somewhere in 1987. And Dreer can't go anywhere without a star sensor. Should we look for him? No. You kids need a vacation. All right. We've got a vacation from Dreer. In a way. Just be careful. You never know when he may show up. Well, I know what I'll do. What? Visit this island in the Caribbean. I'm going to help that old sea captain. I love it. Sunbathing, windsurfing, scuba diving. Better bring your own equipment. They don't have rentals in 1748. 1748? <laughs> Just like I showed you. And no foul ups. Oh, <coughs> oh alive. Right. Now. I did it. The star sensor is fixed. <laughs> Did you morons find the Jarens? <laughs> so Alonga actually thinks I'm out of the way. Well, of course, the little dears can't know I've fixed my star sensor. So we'll surprise them. Oh, <laughs> Now this is the life. Broken palm trees, wrecked ships, flooded beaches. There's nothing like being stranded on a desert island. <laughs> you certainly look the part. But what are you talking about? This is the latest in casual storm wear. Bad news, guys. We're not the only ones the storm got to. I can't get it to work. All that water must have shorted the circuit. Great. And finding our other starlights is going to be like hunting for a pebble on the beach. Not with our star sensors. That's not broken, too, I hope. No, it's just filled with sand. Yeah, like the rest of us. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of... Ro hey, uh, maybe we found some Boy Scouts. Not in 1748, Tom. Hey, guys, I uh, see you're building a fire. Anything for breakfast? I'm starved. We're here looking for this treasure and got caught in that storm. Treasure, you say now? Yeah, my sister found this pirate's treasure map, and we're helping this old... Tom, these are pirates. Oh, well, uh, we really didn't mean to crash your party. And, uh, well, we'll just go on. Uh, let me go. Pick on somebody your own size, or bigger. Get away from me, pal, or I'm gonna give you a knuckle sandwich. Sneaky, aren't you? Well, 
you won't be getting away from me. How about we talk deal? We're not a favoring to talking much. You see me, Arzies? We don't take the trespassers. There's no way I can fit through. Hey, remind me to put you on a diet when we get home. There's something about Captain Redbeard. He looks like the sea captain on the pier. What's the matter? Bad plate up chow? I hope you find these quarters to your liking. The detention room at school is better than this. Here, the detention room? No matter. You'll be walking the plank soon enough. Oh, that's a shame. We were hoping you'd help us find our treasure. Ah, then you must be having a map. You don't think we came all the way down here without one, do you? <laughs> Maybe if you give me the map, I could persuade me crew, and they're an angry lot they be, not to use you for shark bait. Well, I couldn't do that. Not unless we were back on the island. Yeah, you're a feisty one there, standing up to old Redbeard like that, and I'm starting to like you, too. But you see, lass, I'm here for one thing, that being treasure. And if I don't get it, you walk the plank. Then I guess we both lose. Yeah! <laughs> Move it, you land lovers. Okay. You guys think you're so tough? Come on. It looks like we're going swimming, guys. <laughs> Hold your breath. This is wonderful. Those pirates are taking care of those Jaren brats for me. <laughs> Laser Tag Academy will return after these messages. Twix puts the dig in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking along. Puts the soul into your song. You can keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Chocolate caramel satisfaction. Like crispy cookie, get you back in the action. There's nothing to sticks, so Twix can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Lightning, Steph, and Spangler are here. So are these ghosts. They've got exoplasms. We've been cooped. Now what? They puff marshmallow man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate neutrona blaster. We ain't afraid of them. Ghost. Peter Venkman, ectoplasm, stay puff marshmallow man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. We now return to Laser Tag Academy. Fellas, don't you think you've carried this joke far enough? When you're at the bottom of the sea, be sure to say hello to Davy Jones for me. <laughs> It's a miracle. I knew he'd come through. Shush. Now, the Arties, I'll be expecting the treasure map for saving your hides. Don't worry. You better put more muscle in the oar before the rest of the Pittsburgh Pirates find out you threw the game. Jamie Jaron isn't getting away from me this time. I... Oh, 15 men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho! Your party had better wait. <laughs> Demons from the deep! Hey, it must be a trick. They're after our treasure. Get them, legs! Now listen to me. I'm your new king. 
Chapson. We already have one. A double-crossing one? What are you talking about, Might? Redbeard saved those three kids and took them to the island. The treasure! They're after the treasure! No doubt. But you help me get those kids, and the treasure's all yours. I'll even help you. The storm changed the way this whole island looks. That's Redbeard's problem. Look, give him the map. We need to find our starlights. No, some of that treasure belongs to the sea captain. Beth, the priority here is our starlights. Fine, you two find them. My priority is finding the treasure. I'm going with him. Sometimes I just don't understand you, Beth. And now, Beth, we're to go in for this here treasure hunting, and you and me must... 98, 99, 100. I think that was too, too, Timmy. Like you, lass, he was after me treasure. The treasure is supposed to be right under the big W. Redbeard, were you always a pirate? Hatched from a fish egg at the bottom of Davy Jones' locker, I was. No, really. I mean, don't you have a home, a family? <laughs> I be telling you true. If there was a lass like you waiting for me, I'd fly the Jolly Roger no more. You mean that? Aye! Did you hear that, lass? It's music to me ears! The treasure? Is it the treasure? <laughs> Well, you look at here. Wow! I can't believe it! You'll not be doing that, lass. I only wanted to see our treasure. Ours now, will ya? I saved your life, and the treasure is mine. All of it. Part of that belongs to the sea captain. The only sea captain to be a-spending this lot is yours, truly. I can't believe you're doing this. I really can't. If you want to catch up to your friends, head do south. Laser Sound Academy will return off these messages. Give me an X! X. Give me an O! o. Give me Tic Tac Toe! Well, everywhere I go, it's X's and O's. Makes me feel so hungry for my Tic Tac Toes. They're so tasty. Chef Boy RV! Tic 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 Tac Toes. New Tic Tac Toes. A good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win! Thank goodness for Chef Boy RV! Tick, 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 tack, toes. With and without meatballs. Yeah! Those lonely pound puppies really need to be rescued. Pound puppy, I'm so glad to find you. Put that lonely puppy pound behind you. You need a name. I'll call you Freckle. Lots of pound puppies need your love. Ask for me, Petey. And when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share in all our cousin Karen puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. <laughs> I like new Giggles cookies because we've got two kinds of cream inside. He likes Giggles' funny faces. There's fudge and vanilla cream in each one. Mm -mm, I can't believe how good this is. New Giggles cookies. Two kinds of cream in each funny face. Are you gonna eat that? We now return to Laser Tag Academy. Uh, well, me lass, we're cooking in a stew. Good. That takes care of one, Jaren. Two more, then it's over. Now did they find the starlight? Yeah, look, face. I've got the treasure. For us, I have. I knew there was no other way. I had to get them into me confidence so I could get the map. 
It was a risky plan, but for me, crew, I did it anyway. Don't be idiots. Your loyal captain double-crossed you. <laughs> you see, he kept the best for himself. Grab it, Knight. Yeah, no, no. Don't be hasty. The treasure's ours now. Those are just trinkets. This is the most precious gem on the island. This gem belongs to the first one of you who brings me the next Sharon. I'll be having me that gemstone for me own. But first, me mates, we take care of Redbeard our way. I don't care what you do to him. I want the girl. Then it's settled. Mike ready a keel hauling. It'll take some fast talking, but I'll be figuring a way out of this for us. I? Don't you mean you? Ah, oh, lass. I never meant for you to be caught up in me troubles. You have a funny way of showing it. Don't you understand? I'm a pirate, and I do what pirates do. Yeah, but as sure as there's fish in the sea, if there's a way out of this for you, old Redbeard will make it happen. You never stop, do you? That's what I like about you. <laughs> This be the only thing I've ever stolen. My daddy gave it to me when I was a pup your age. And I want to give it to you for as little time as we have here together. Why is it taking so long? What's it got, all the sand on the island in there? <laughs> Almost. Long, green, and has a very big mouth? An alligator. Well, uh, if you've got any ideas at all, don't be afraid to speak up. Get him mad at us. What's this? Some bizarre academy rule on animal behavior? No. Don't you ever go to the zoo. Go on, get him mad. I think you'd be better at this than me. Hurry it up. I'm doing the best I can. Come on, let's get back. <laughs> Are you ready for your swim, Captain Redbeard? You leave him alone. Worry about yourself, Sharon. Just be giving them appetizers before the main meal. How are we gonna get her? Easy. Toledo. We're back in 1987, but with the whole pirate ship. Jamie, Beth star sensor is on the mast. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Ah, my mates! Witchcraft! If you want your treasure, grab those kids. I'll get Beth. You take care of Drear.
board. And the special effects these days. <laughs> they really blow me away. I can't wait to find out where Dreer lands. Why, these are pieces of eight. Pure gold. They're worth a small fortune. At least enough to save your home. Where did you get them? An old friend. This is pirate's gold. Yeah. And where do you think that old pirate is? I don't know. But I'm sure he can take care of himself. I got me magic here, mates. If I want to, I can turn you all into barnacles. You know I can do that. Aye, aye, aye Captain Redbeard. <laughs> and as for this here old map, I'll be saving it for me great-great-grandchildren. And I'm a-hoping some of them are like that last bet. Yeah. Well, you know, Alf, sometimes I wonder what it'd be like living in another time or place, like you or Jamie Jared. It's nice. But the weather is unpredictable. You mean you don't know when it's going to change? No, you never know if there's going to be weather. Ha! Yeah! I don't get it. It's a joke. These are the jokes. Oh, okay. We'll be right back with Kid Video. They don't hang around in ladies' clubs or in a three-piece suit. They're too big to call them dainty. Too big to call them cute. Yeah, they're so big on chocolate. Ooh, chocolate out to here. It's hard to keep my mom around well, so guys, three months or two. Hey, so, so, gentlemen, what's on the agenda for this evening? Oh, I am oh, up I, for the time of my life. Cannot be done for under seven dollars. <laughs> It's coming soon, the world where everything runs on air. So air is more precious than gold. But in Airlandia, the tyrants of wind control the air, and only a rebel band of heroic air raiders has the power to stop them. Fighting for air against the tyrants of wind. The incredible new Air Raiders. It's coming soon from the makers of G.I. Joe, Air Raiders. Fried chicken's new chicken little sandwiches. They cost just a little, but people love them a lot. Come and go with me. Academy, the series. Hooray! 
Police Academy will return after these messages. Have you heard the latest word? Fashion Star Phillies. Horses and Star Spangles accessories sold separately. Nikki's mane's so silky. These glittery Star Spangles help style her hair. That looks cool. Wow, these body paints make Cala sparkle. She's fabulous. Yeah! Cala looks so pretty, all decked out. That's what fashion's all about. Hey! Fashion Star Phillies. Fashion Star Phillies and Star Spangles accessories, each sold separately. New from Kenner. Lars? Yeah, I've been adrift for days and I'm tired of frozen breakfast. Then follow my snoot to flavors of fruit. Follow my nose. Whoa! Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors and lots of vitamin C part of this complete breakfast. They're cool. Space Alien. They could be anyone. You can have the power to find them with your alien detector kit. One free in Fruit Loops. You can find out who or what is out there. Sniff. Sniff horrific. Sniff horrific. Smells terrific. Instant Quaker oatmeal. Sniff horrific. Tastes terrific. Instant Quaker oatmeal. Instant Quaker oatmeal. The nose teasing, taste pleasing part of a nutritious breakfast. Maple brown sugar, peaches and cream, apples and cinnamon are giving us steam. Eleven snifferific, taste terrific flavors. Sniff, 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 Instant Quaker Sniff, sniff, Now return to Police Academy. This is a stakeout, not a safari. Zed, did you notify Captain Harris that we've got the clown gang surrounded? Yeah, I did. I told him. I gave him the news. You're welcome. Hooks, you ready? Uh-huh. You ready, Hooks? Callahan, you in position? Affirmative, Officer Mahoney. House, you ready? <laughs> I'll uh, take that as a yes. Okay, guys, let's boogie. <laughs> 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 Officer Callahan. Nobody opens a door for a lady like you do, Tack. Hey, wizard! I thought I heard an explosion. Yeah. Do you think the cops figured out where we was? Looks that way. Hands over your heads. You're coming with me. Are you arresting us or inviting us to dinner? Oops. Let's blow this joint. Stop! Or I'll sit on you. Okay, let's bag us some bozos. Quick, the staircase! A train? Impossible! I'm not taking any chances. Mahoney Express. Okay, give it up, you clowns. All the exits are blocked. There's no room service, and we've got the hotel surrounded. Right, sweet Chuck? Oh, boy. Let's see. The first gear is connected to the second gear, and... Whoa! Emergency exit. And this is an emergency. Uh-oh. <laughs> Give me that. Hey, 
Give me back my faith! I guess we better let Captain Harris know they flew the coop. Speaking of Harris, he should have been here by now. I gave him the address, 666 Street. Or was that 99966 Street? This is it, 99966 Street. All right, Proctor, did you call the reporters? Yes, Captain, they're on the way. Good. We'll make headlines when we bust the clown gang. And I'll get that promotion to another precinct far, far away from Mahoney and the rest of his goons. Okay, Proctor. Ready? Now! This is a blast! Huh? Not only did you let the clown gang slip through your fingers, you have embarrassed the department with this ridiculous photograph. Sorry, sir, but they caught my bad side. Uh, let me explain, Chief. <laughs> this was all Mahoney's fault. He gave me the wrong... And you can forget that promotion, Harris. But, Chief, it's not me. It's those incompetent cops. And furthermore, Harris, you've been reassigned. <laughs> to teaching duty at the police academy until further notice. Uh, yes, sir. Good morning, sir. This is all your fault, Mahoney. What, sir? What? Never mind. We'll be missing you, sir. Okay, wise guy, if I'm going back to the academy, so are all of you! And if it's the last thing I do, I'll bust you all out of the force! Was it uh, something I said? Gee, was it? Freddy the Fence wasn't too happy we lost the loot. We gotta pull another heist. Quick! I got that all worked out, boys. We're gonna knock off the fashion-rich shopping mall. That place is like a fortress. We'll need tons of firepower. And a new hideout to stash loot. Easy, boys. I got the perfect place. The police academy. Huh? I don't get it. Simple. We go in as new recruits and stash the loot right under the cops' noses. And the cops will have plenty of firepower laying around. We'll have all we need to pull a job. You gotta admit, I'm brilliant. You think Lazard can really get us out of this uh, retraining thing, Mahoney? Hey, no biggie. We're his favorite grad. Or... Commandant, sir, we were just looking for you. See, Captain Harris is making us retrain and... Oh, boys, I'm so, 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 so happy to see you. Have you come back for the refresher? Of course, good idea. Gotta keep those reflexes sharp. Welcome to Police Academy. As new recruits, you'll learn what it means to wear the color blue. What the? How oh, unfortunate, <laughs> sir. Go help the captain. Good as new, sir. Well, it's about time we got some recruits that respect authority. Not a bunch of smart aleck hoodlums like Officer Mahoney and his squad reporting for class, sir. Okay, you. Bums, move it, move it, move it! All right, in this class, we'll learn the techniques of arrest. Now, you two will be the cops. Do you think you can manage that? You'll be the thief. Okay, let's see you arrest this man. Uh, 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 would you mind putting your hands over your head? <laughs> Let me give you a hand. You know, I think I've seen your nose before. Yeah? Well, now you see it. And now you don't. <laughs> Too bad we don't have these new cadets in our precinct instead of Mahoney and his bunch. 
That's it, Proctor. A stroke of genius. A way to get rid of Mahoney and his cops for good. Excuse me, but that was no fair. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's no need to fight. We can settle this like gentlemen. You mean we have to shake hands and say we're sorry? No, no, I mean a little wager, Mahoney. Now, I say these recruits can catch the clown gang before you can. A bet, sir? What are the stakes? You catch the clown gang, you get fame and glory. My recruits catch them, you get an early retirement. You're on, sir. Excellent. Come on, boys. Go over to the professor's lab where you can check out all the equipment you'll need. And may the best cops win. <laughs> Observe, gentlemen. What is it? Some kind of bomb? Nope. It's my ultra-frequency supersonic remote control basketball. Hey, you like sports? <laughs> <laughs> Too much slam in the slam dunker diodes. Excuse me. We got it made, boys. We can stash our loot in the professor's lab while we <laughs> track the clown gang. And with all these weapons, it'll be a cinch to take them all. Right. And if those meddling cops try to get in our way, we'll take care of them, too. Police Academy will return after these messages. We were telling ghost stories in the Fun Fruits jungle. The coffin openings and the skeletons scared the aliens! And that's how we discovered new Fun Fruit Spooky Fruit with skulls, ghosts, and monsters. And Fun Fruit Space Shapes with aliens, astronauts, and spaceships. New fruit snacks from Sun Kissed Fun Fruits. Give me five. New Fun Fruit Space Shapes and Spooky Fruit. A Whopper, a shake, you can make what Burger King makes. Play-Doh presents the Burger King Whopper playset from Play-Doh. You can start with a burger on top of a bun and press out some pickles. This is fun! Lettuce and tomatoes piled up high and lots of onion rings to the sky. Feel like some fries, crispy done. Put in the Play-Doh. Here they come! How about a treat? It's easy to make. In goes the Play-Doh. Out comes the shake. Mmm, a Whopper. The Burger King Whopper playset from Play-Doh comes with everything you see here from Kenner. Into California Dream Barbie. California Dream Barbie's into fashion fun. She's into changing to bikinis in the California sun. She's into taking shots. Palm tree earrings. She's into laughing a lot. You know we're into it too. We just can't stop. We're into Barbie. California Dream Barbie doll comes with a Beach Boys record for you. Surf and shop and dolls all sold separately from Mattel. <laughs> We're in the Muppet Test Kitchen, where the Swedish chef is making his delicious star-shaped cereal, New Crunchy Stars. Mmm, makes more munchy. Only the Swedish chef could create the cinnamon toast taste of Crunchy Stars. Mm, yeah, scrumptious. Scrumptious Crunchy Stars, part of this nutritious breakfast. Crunchy Stars, great taste from Post and the Swedish chef. Mmm, scrumptious. We now return to Police Academy. We got stuck painting the ship. I'll tell you why. Harris. Uh, speaking of Captain Harris, here he comes with his new recruits. Let's hide in the car and see what they're up to. Okay, I got Mahoney and his goons busy painting the gym. Now, you boys, keep a sharp eye out for the clown gang. I'm counting on you to beat those cops to the punch. Oh, we will, Captain. <laughs> Come on, we gotta tell those birds. Proctor, I've got a feeling this is my lucky day. Let's go do a little shopping.
Hey, I saw him. The clown gang. They went up the stairs. Let's do it to him, dudes! Okay, everybody. This is a hold-up. Freeze, clowns. They're under arrest. And don't try any funny stuff. Unless you know a good joke. I love a good joke. Easy, we got nothing up our sleeves. Except a little sleeping gas. Nighty night, boys. We have a 211 silent alarm at the Fashion Ritz shopping mall. A robbery at the mall. It's gotta be the clown gang. Come on, we gotta bust those jokers before Harris's recruits get here. Come on, let's hit another floor. Uh, <laughs> wrong elevator. Let's go where no cop has gone before. Give it up, dudes! We got you covered! I hate smart aleck clowns. <laughs> Boy, that was a nice nap. Hey! Where are we? Look, the clowns. Go on, you guys, they're getting away. It's that ugly nose again. Is that thing real? I'm sure my recruits will succeed, Proctor. It's Harris. What do we do now, Wiz? Take off your costumes. We're about to arrest the clown gang. Good work, men. Look, it's Captain Harris. Well, Mahoney, he looks like my boys caught the clown gang first. <laughs> Unmask them. Huh? Well, now, here's an unexpected surprise. But, but, but I've been framed. I'm not a thief. I used to be a thief. See? It's him! He's a thief! There must be a mistake, sir. They're cops. They'd never commit a crime. Can't believe your own eyes, eh, Mahoney? We'll take the stolen merchandise back to the Academy, sir. Oh, good idea, men. Well, Mahoney, your boy's lost. Fair and square. You can turn your badges in at the station. <laughs> Police Academy will return after these messages. We now return to Police Academy. What a bummer. We're out on the streets again. And our buddies are in the slammer for a crime they didn't commit. Hey, we all know those phony cops did it. Right, so let's nail them. Let's show them what real cops are made of. Right, guys? Right. 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 Warden, Warden, call off the dogs. I swear I didn't do it. I'm doomed. I'm going to spend the rest of my life in a cell with Zed. I'm going to take a long nap. House. Oh, wow, a jailbreak. Wait for me. Are you sure we're under the locker room? This way out. One, two. It feels good to be back in charge, Proctor. No more Mahoney. Nothing but good old peace and quiet. Three! Those jailbirds are escaping! Stop! In the name of the law! We can't let them get away. Oh, no. Not the police copter. Oh, wow! A daring getaway, just like in the flicks! But, but, but you can't even fly a kite! Ah! 
want that! No, 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 please. I'll, I'll give you time off for good behavior. Freddy Defense is gonna give us top dollar for this stuff. Hey! What's that? Oh, great. It's those idiot cops. How are we gonna get out of here? Lassard, we'll take this boat. Come on! Uh, uh, pardon me. We're we going somewhere. On a little cruise. Oh, what, what, what a wonderful idea. Oh, oh, but I just couldn't. I have, I have to feed my fish and, and practice my putting. Uh, hurry! They're getting away! Those jerks will never catch us now. We've got to stop the perpetrators. Time to employ a counteroffensive. Hold on to your... Let's get him! Though justice may be blind, the shady ones will find that there's no way to hide from the truth. If they feel in slimy ways, they'll find crime never fails. And trying to run just won't do them no use. Solid steel, you can't escape. <laughs> I'm in the clear now. Huh? Sharks! Your life of crime is over, mister. Way to go, for you to drop in like this. I'll get you for this, Mahoney. Yes, sir. The, uh, the mayor is thrilled that, that you finally caught the real clown gang. And credit goes to you brave officers. And to Commandant Lassard's fine training program, I salute you. This, uh, this is a, a great day for the Academy, boys. You have made, made me proud. Let us raise the Academy flag in the name of, of justice. Yes, sir. Oh! Ah! Why, sir, I didn't know you were so patriotic. I'll get rid of you, Mahoney. It is the last thing I do! Police Academy will return after these messages. Mmm, tastes great, Captain. Did you hear that? Let's snatch that tasty sweet crunch. Now hear this, you soggies. <laughs> Captain Crunch is a crunchy sweet part of a good breakfast. Ah, the Tyrannosaurus Rex! You have the wildest imagination. But it's true, it's a Cabin Crunch dinosaur spoon. You can eat with it, play with it, share the excitement. You can get all three, one in each specially marked box of my cereal. You can push them, you can mush them, you can push them, you can squish them, you can stop up, up, swish. Hide the smooshies in your pocket, stuff another in a locket, you can stop up, up, swish. Unsmush them right before their eyes, when you hide them, no surprise, you can stop up, up, swish. We now return to Police Academy.
Hey kids, today we're going for a bike ride. But first, let's go over a few rules. Make yourself easily visible by wearing brightly colored clothes and attaching a tall flag to the back of your bike. Always ride with traffic as far to the right as possible. Obey all signs and signals. Oh well, let's go. But don't forget rule number one. Select the bicycle that is the right size and style for you. Not included. Yeah. I'm no ghost, but he is. I'll project one too. Over here. We're being watched. Fire ghost sapphires. <laughs> Time to high frequency. We ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghost sapphire, ghost projector guns. Each sold separately. Ghostbusters from Kenner. One, two, one, two, three. I can hear it. Hawaiian taste from High C. High C, High C, when it's up to me. New High C Hula Punch. It's totally Hawaiian. Pleasure to welcome you and your carnival to Pigsburg, Mr. Knight. And I, uh, <clears throat> wish you a pleasant stay, but, uh, I must be going. I beg to differ, Mayor Hawkbrook. Pighead, if you don't improve your grades, you're going to flunk journalism class and end up in summer school. But 
but Mr. Newshog, I'm sure the guys could be great reporters. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a news for those. A uh, nose for news. Okay, okay, boys. Uh, turn in a really good news story and uh, I'll pass you. Oh, boy, thanks. We won't let you down. Guess what happened? Mayor Hogpork went to the carnival last night and disappeared. Disappeared? There's our story, Pighead. Hey, guys, what's happened? Sorry about that, Bo. Give me a rag, Pighead. Here you go. <laughs> How's that? Just ducky. Come on, guys. Let's get to the carnival. We got a story to cover. So let's start asking investigative questions. You got any questions? You ask me. Uh, actually, my friends are looking for part-time jobs. No, we're not. Remember, we're snooping around to find out. Right down, Pumpernickel Brain. The Carnival of Night is always looking for a few good pigs. Follow me. Piggy, Pokey, and Prissy. So, you want jobs? Well, what can you do? Well, we... Uh... Uh, let's get out of here! This isn't a circus. I don't need acrobats. There is something you can do. This plan can't fail. We disguise ourselves as prizes and go home with some lucky pigs. But they won't be so lucky when we eat them. <laughs> uh, Knight's not such a bad guy. He gave us the job. Yeah, and here's the bears he wants us to set up. Okay, let's get him ready for the crowd. Uh, two replacement bears ready to go. Boy, this place is full of pigs. <laughs> We're really gonna get ours soon. Something tells me we were target bears, not prize bears. Who cares? They were a bunch of lousy shots. Yeah, they didn't even come close. Okay, let's check out the pig cell. Uh -oh. We want to go on the ride! Shh, we're on an undercover mission. And you kids have to be quiet, or you'll blow their cover. We want to go on the Pegasol for free! If we don't, we're going to tell everyone you guys are spies! Okay, okay, you little blackmailers. Hey, dude, show us how to ride this thing. It's a cinch. All you do is put one leg over the top. <laughs> I'm freezing my pants off. All right, way to go, dude. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. I'm taking you home. Hey, Portly, this pig's puss looks like Mayor Hogport. Yeah, maybe we're on to something. So, those fools found the mayor. We'll eliminate them when we get rid of the sheriff and his deputies. I don't believe it. I think this is the mayor. Oh, look. There's Sheriff Porkbelly. We gotta tell him about this. Hey, Sheriff, we gotta talk to you. What's up, Portly? These fine young pigs are going to escort you on a special tour of the House of Horror. We are? Well, I better be going. I think not. You are invited.
like it as well. How's a horse? <laughs> this is going to be fun. That's a matter of opinion. Just couldn't scare nobody. Hey, get a look at that creature! Isn't that supposed to be Count Piccolo the vampire? Yeah, he almost looks real. Look at my face! Wow! It be transformed! Hey, what's going on? Did you see that? I heard a face that stopped clocks, but his face turns pigs into monsters. <laughs> even gonna look at his shoes. Let's get out of here. Bring those pigs to me. Immediately. Let's hide in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Stand back unless you want to get clobbered with this. Whoops. Never mind. We'll get you out of there! This isn't what I had in mind, but it's better than nothing! Look! A door! Oh, it's the way out! We're safe! We'll be... Home Alone is bringing down the house. I love this movie. Terrific. Heads up! Yes! I loved it! Is there a movie better than Home Alone? I don't think so. There's no place like Home Alone. Ah! Rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. Escaping Artemis Knight. Prepare to meet your doom! Oh, stop them, quackers! the window. Big heaven, here we come. Big heaven, here we go. Come 
on, Lorelei. I'll teach you how to bowl. No, I'm going to teach you. No need, guys. I've been practicing. Hey, maybe you could teach us to bowl. Hey, Bo, we, we need your help. We're being chased by a creep from the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, and his ugly boss is trying to turn us into monsters. You guys are loony. Take a hike. We're trying to bowl. I'm going to get you now. <laughs> Bowling, schmoling, forget it. Let's get out of here. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'll bowl over that pinhead. Where are they? You'll never find us up here. and see what we can find out. But we need disguises. Come on! Hey, imagine that. Walking, talking garbage cans. Those weren't garbage cans, you nincomoof. They're pigs, and they're going to the carnival in disguise. <laughs> but what they don't know is, we're going to join them. So far, so good. Where's the trailer? Over this way. Uh, who are you guys? We're the rest of the act. Where you go, we go. Where you go, we go. Uh-oh, here comes that slime ball shadow. We gotta put on a good act so we don't blow our cover. These carnival acts are strange. We tricked him. He's dumber than we are. Yeah, and that's pretty dumb. Let's go to the trailer. The coast is clear. Uh-oh, we still got company. Uh, just play it cool so they don't know we're fakes. Uh, just play it cool so they don't know we're wolves. Somebody's coming. Uh, where you go, I go. Now that I've transformed the leaders of Pigsburg into helpless carnival rides, I will summon all the monsters from the Forbidden Zone tonight, and no one, no one will be left to stop them. <gasps> we gotta stop them tonight. Oh boy, oh boy. I love ham hocks with mustard. Soon, Pigsburg will be ours. Get that mirror out of here! We must be careful. If I see my reflection without my mask on, I will transform into one of those carnival rides. And all my captives would revert to normal, and our invasion would fail. Hurry, it's almost time. If we don't stop those guys, Pigsburg is doomed. Yeah, but at least we'll go with our stomachs full. <laughs> Yow! Who are you? It's me, the little big bad wolf. So you better start trembling. It's you who will be trembling. Between us and Octopus, or we're goners! There's only one way to knock out Knight. We gotta get him to look at his own hideous face so he turns into a carnival ride. Uh, maybe we can call his mom and ask for one of his baby pictures. Eh, that's the dumbest thing you ever said. All we have to do is take a picture of Knight. Yeah, and when he looks at it, bingo, he's frozen like a popsicle. Huh? What are you doing? 
Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Beat around Tasty Pigs is very hard on a wolf. You think that's hard? Who's going to take the picture of night? I volunteer, the portly pighead and pop. Okay, pighead, here we go. Uh, and don't worry about a thing. We <laughs> talk to this kind of stuff all the time. Uh, that's what I'm worried about. It's a cinch. In the front window, don't look at his face. Snap the picture out the back window. What could be easier? Nothing wrong with this plan. There ain't no back window. Well, here's the picture, but don't look at it. But how do we know it's gonna work? That's how. Okay, guys, let's go save Pigsburg. We're counting on you, Pighead. You're our secret weapon. Yeah, but why do I have to wear this dumb bag? Because if you take it off, we all turn into carnival rides. <laughs> okay, guys, we gotta split up and find night. After the rocket lights up the sky, all the monsters in the Forbidden Zone will invade Pigsburg. What are we gonna do? If they fire that rocket, Pigsburg's done for. What's he doing? What's going on? Get away, you dumb duck. This isn't a time to play. He's not playing, Remy. He wants us to shoot him into the air. Dottie, remember it. Knight's trying to signal the monsters in the Forbidden Zone. We gotta stop him. It's those pigs. Fire the rocket. Here, use your muscles and launch quackers. Well, the machine's obviously defective. Give me that! You've gone too far. Run! Where's Pighead? I don't know, but for the first time in my life, I want to see him. Oh, look who's coming our way. Hey, guys, over here. We're being followed. I'll get all of you now. Let's get him, Portly! Okay, but I can't look him in the kisser or he'll get me! Here goes nothing! Yeah! Watch where you're aiming him, Portly! He's to your right! He's to your left! No, to your right! No, to your left! Not this way, that way! Oh, that way! Let him have it! Look into my face, you freaky fiend! Oh, hey, Portly, did we last night back to the Forbidden Zone? Not exactly! Get those fools! Hey! Watch who you're calling a fool! Oh, oh. I'll get you for this! It's time to split! I'm going to get you now! Uh, go ahead, make my day, knight. A trick! Would you believe two tricks? Oh, 
Can I come out now? Oh yeah, I got him real good. He's stiffer than a mackerel. Thanks to these fine young porkers, Shadow and Knight are back in the Forbidden Zone. And since you wrote up such a nice story, you both passed journalism. How about reading it to us? <laughs> Great idea! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was this uncool carnival, and it was a nice day, but the mayor vanished and then... Well, why read it when you can show it? After all, one picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> hey, well, what's wrong? Is it something I said? We'll be right back. Alex is torn between two girls. This is like a bad episode of Love American Style. Next time on Family Ties. Tonight at 5.30. Introducing Hotkeys Keyboard Synthesizer. Ooh, you've been taking lessons? Not necessary. It's Hotkeys. The music's built in. Mix it up thousands of different ways. I want joystick. Change the tone and tempo and make your own special music. Batteries not included. How's that? Cool. Hotkeys Keyboard Synthesizer. New from Tyco. No lessons required. Monday afternoon, the Fox Children's production, Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates, is back with an all-new adventure inspired by J.M. Barry's novel, Peter and Wendy. Be watching as Wendy and Captain Hook play Romeo and Juliet in Neverland. Will the Lost Boys let it happen? Find out Monday afternoon on Fox. Until a maniac cuts down. Lego maniac! <laughs> Only a Lego maniac could turn such a cold planet into such a cool one. <laughs> Lego system, ice planet, and space police, each set sold separately. Maniac not included. When watching your old TV set about to see the best part yet, a noisy snack can really drive you crackers. To correct this sad condition, try a snack with real nutrition, cause the best things come in their own wrappers. An orange has a peel, a banana does too. An apple and a pear have a skin you can chew. When you get that hungry feeling, just remember to start peeling, cause the best things come in wrappers of their own. I'm Captain O.G. Rebor. My motto's tried and true. Read a book today, I bet you'll say O.G. <laughs> I'll read more too. <laughs> Comet breeze, the mesa to the western skies With the sound of a thousand cattle drive A chosen few would see the light And find the wrong with right Up on the mesa Live the real cowboys Standing up for law and order And living by the code of the West Cleaning up the territory Keeping 
Marshmallow Alphabet cereal has new marshmallows. Super Swirl. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Super Swirl tastes great mm. to me. They're swirling. Pink with purple, orange with blue, green with yellow, code for you. Alphabet is Super Swirl. Marshmallow fun for boys and girls. Marshmallow Alphabets and Alphabet cereals, part of this complete breakfast. We love new Super Swirls because they're A, B, C. If I had my way, I'd change my hair. <laughs> or to give a kid's meal the way I like it, with no pickles. Sure. Yeah. Now at Burger King, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bike gear. Radical spoke sliders, a cool bike patch, a ninja sipper, a screaming bike horn, and a license plate. Awesome accessories, dude. You can collect all five, one with every kid's meal, only at Burger King, where the turtles Excellent. are bugging your way. We're the cowboys of Mesa. We uphold the code of the West. Since the comet done come down, and raise Moon Mesa from the ground. We walk, walk talking right like all the rest. Ah! We're the cowboys of Moo Mesa. I'm the marshal that everyone calls Moo. Name is Colorado. Yeehaw! That's kid to you. That's Dakota over there. Tough as all cow anywhere. Yup. On this mesa we come. Going somewhere, boys? It's Moo! It's Moo, Montana! Right both times. Colorado, let's teach these boys the ropes. You betcha, buddy. Lock them up, Dakota. Three cheers for the Marshal! Yeehaw! Marshal Moo Montana! There ain't a better lock out this side of Curious Gorge. Well, thank you, Calf Pine. I appreciate the appreciation. But like it says in the Code of the West, if you get a big head helping people, your hat won't fit. I like that. Right, Marshal Moo. Magnificent job, Montana. It's always a pleasure to watch a true hero at work. <laughs> Marshall Moon always gets his horny toad. Well, it wasn't just me, Mayor Baloney, but all of the cowboys. Well, we're lucky to have such a sterling example of law and order in our midst. I, I, I had a little nest egg in that bank myself, and thanks to you, it's still safe. Well, we were just staying true to the code of the West, Mayor. That's our job. Protecting the innocent and good folk of Moo Mesa from those varmints that would perpetrate evil. Sorry, I get riled up just thinking about it. Me too.
I despise a law cow who prevents me from becoming richer. Don't I know it. Why terrible, my dear Sheriff. You just gave me one glorious bovine inspiration. Come again, boss. What would you think about seeing Marshal Moo Montana blown sky high tomorrow when he picks up his trophy for Law Cow of the Year? <laughs> What's the guarantee he'll win? Has he ever lost? Hmm. Good point. In the meantime, I think the mask bull should pay a little visit to uh, the noon train. up with the slightest bump. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> now you two, you two get that nitro into the wagon. I got me a marshal to fry. <laughs> So that's why the noon train's late. It's stranded. Well, we got us a problem here. The 145's on time. For once. The 145 will never see the noon train in time to stop. Yep. Hey! Hey! I can see our house from here, guys! Uh, guys? Hey guys, wait for me! We've got a train to save. on this thing. Huh? Oh, don't get up. I'll find them. Mm.
What? What? What's that? What's going on? Looks like you're gonna be early. Good work, Dakota. Lives have been saved and schedules have been kept. But uh, where's Colorado? <laughs> well, if that don't beat all. Yep. Dakota, you and Colorado follow the wagon tracks. I'll head into town and see what our share of terrible is up to. Somehow he always knows more about the mass bull than anybody else. Now wait a little minute. Just cause I said your horse had better manners than you, doesn't mean he can sit here neither. Well, 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 look who's here. Well, how to move? Looks like you could use yourself a sarsaparilla. Much obliged, Miss Lily. Well, come on in and wet your whistle. Your days are numbered, Marshal. Who oh, you got the drop on me, calf pint? Can I help you catch bad guys now, Marshal Moo? I'm getting pretty fast. You sure are, Cody. How about you start by wearing this? Golly, a real deputy star. Now say there, Cody, how's that long cow of the year flow to coming along? It's gonna be the most rodeo and float in the parade. You're gonna look good riding on it too, Marshal Moo. Now how about we let the good folks of Moo Mesa decide who rides the law cow float when they vote, okay? Yeah, but you win every year. Cody, now there's more streamers and balloons in the stable. So why don't you go out and get them and, well, you could use all you want. Yeah, cause I'm gonna need all of them. Say there, you gonna pick up your award this year, Marshal, or just gonna avoid the whole matter like you usually do? Well, Lily, like it says in the Code of the West, trophies may look good on the shelf, but they sure make your eyes look pretty. Uh, but they don't make the sagebrush grow. Read them and wait, boys! Come to pop of my little chipsters. I trust that little train matter's been taken care of, Sheriff. All taken care of, Mayor. <laughs> and soon I'll be able to say the same about Marshal Moo Montana. I wouldn't play those five aces, Mayor. What? Well, how, how did they get in there? <laughs> Naughty things. Gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I have some laws uh, to write. Yeah, yes. Mind if I sit in? Just thought you'd like to know, uh, we found the stolen nitro, Sheriff. Nitro? <laughs> I don't know nothing about any nitro. Really? I thought since you and the mass bull were so close, you might have heard something about it. You saying I'm in cahoots with the mass bull? In three words, yes. And one day I'm gonna prove it. Hey! Looky! Looky there, hey, just like I told you. The wagon tracks lead right into Cowtown. Well, I'm gonna hog tie the mass bull's hide faster than you can say code of the west. Dakota? Get your flea bitten carcasses up! What? <laughs> I told you to watch the nitro, not the backside of your eyelids. Oh, don't worry, we're guarding that nitro up something fierce, boss. I'll, I'll take care of the whole thing, you oh. nitro brat. Whoops, wrong barn. <laughs> When those do-gooders leave, get the nitro out of there. But in the meantime, get me that kid, Cody. Sure, we don't even need to raise him. Oh, what he said. Hey, open up! Let me in, come on, let me in, open up! <gasps> Hello? Who's there?
After these messages, we'll be right back. Okay, David, pull. Pull! Knock it off, wise guys. You're next. The energy to keep on going. It's what eating Come right, on. starting with Come a good on, breakfast, is all about. A good breakfast, nutritious foods, low in fat, like cereal and fruit, toast and low-fat milk. And combined with regular exercise... That's a record, Davis. Nice job. A good right. breakfast will never let you down. Okay, Wisniewski, you're up. Surprise fries! Two free prizes for kids! Yummy. Now, Little Caesars! What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing, it just waves. <laughs> seems no matter how much you want a crisp, delicious Eggo waffle, there's always someone who wants it a little more. Hey! Wiggle my Eggo! Crisp, delicious Eggo waffles, part of a nutritious breakfast. Isn't technology wonderful? Uh-oh, skating ostriches? Yeah, we're looking for breakfast. And we're stars. Oh, my. I can bring you to a most fruitful stock. Just follow my nose. It's such a cute nose. The Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Orange, lemon, cherry, and lime. Colorful fruit flavors you'll flip over. Fruit Loops, a great part of a nutritious breakfast with vitamin C. Mmm, fabulous. Speaking of fab, don't you think Sammy would look totally hot on these skates? Well, I am known for my loops. <laughs> follow your nose to great fruit taste. Discover the world with Bugs Bunny. Ah, oh, the ocean and me. But which one of the four would it be? Let me explain! The Arctic's the coldest ocean, and it's at the North Pole. Sail from New York to England, and you're on the Atlantic. You got your Indian Ocean between Asia, Africa, and Australia. How's the water, Doc? The Pacific is the largest and deepest ocean with those California dudes hanging tin. Guess you know where I am. Oh, there you are! Swipes up. I mean, discover more at your library. Yeah, <laughs> someone took all hold of Nitro, boss! Yeah, we rigged it underneath the log, cow, the air float. We sure did. So now, when the float hits the slightest bump... Kaboomy! <laughs> Moo burgers all around. <laughs> hmm, I like it. In the meantime, what do we get to do with the kid? Well, since you two brilliant fellows were smart enough to spill your plans in front of the brat, I guess you'll have to dispose of him quietly. seen calf pun since yesterday. Say, any of you fellas seen Cody? We'll find the little fella, Miss Lily. Right, Dakota? <laughs> yeah. Marshal! Marshal Montana, where are you going, boy? Come on, we've got a law cow of the year award to give out. Ladies and barmen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, welcome to Cowtown and the annual Mesa Day Parade. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lily, now this award goes to the barman, a critter, a person, a person, uh, who did the most to keep the law in order on Moo Mesa. 
It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's winner, the Law Cow of the Year, our very own Marshall Moon Montana. Congratulations, Montana. Oh, thank you kindly, Mayor. I have a feeling <laughs> this might very well be your most explosive Mesa Day ever. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Hurry! The last bull's gonna blow up Marshall Moo! We gotta save him. <laughs> Has it happened, giant balls? No! <laughs> Take care of Calf Pine. Me and Dakota gotta save Moo. Yeah! I thought you sorry sacks of fleas took care of that calf. What? Out of my way! <laughs> Do everything myself around every crowd out loud. Was there a plan? <laughs> Marshall, I, I think the kind of people of Moo Mesa would like to hear a few words from their favorite log cow. Oh, come on, Moo. Tell them how you feel. Well? I told you, I told you not to take the horses down there. But no! No, it's okay, says you. Water's not deep, says you. So what happens? We wind up up to our black masks in a raging deluge fighting for our lives! I think we should make sure these boys get escorted back to jail. What do you think, Dakota? <laughs> well... Yep. Talking to? Who are you talking to? Um, nobody. 
Next be quick. It's magic in the making. I wanted more sweet cinnamon and Kellogg's cinnamon mini bars. I can't hold any more cinnamon or sugar. But I knew they were wrong. Then all of a sudden, the cyclone was huge. Swirling every mini bun with a maximum blast of cinnamon and sugar. Now there's even more cinnamon and sugar in Kellogg's cinnamon mini buns, part of this complete breakfast. Mm. Cinnamon sweet to the max, CB. Only the world of Nintendo is such a blast. And the only way to get one of these free Nintendo posters is with two proofs from Kellogg's cinnamon mini buns. Now you can show off the power. There's something new inside Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pasta from Chef Boyardee. I get to be, uh... I get to be Michelangelo. Radical, dudes! It still has the turtles. Well, I want to... I get to be Donatello. Carabunga! But now it also has... The Shredder! New Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus the Shredder with a new thicker sauce. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Garfield having his own ravioli, Garfield round ravioli, we're throwing him a surprise party with a year's supply. So after I show him these plump, meaty ravioli, we'll pull back the curtain and yell surprise. Garfield, this was supposed to be a surprise. Tell you what, fill this place back up and I'll come back and act surprised. Garfield round ravioli, the only round ravioli in meat sauce that's Garfield approved. Isn't my ravioli fun? Hey, you like Reese's Cups? Definitely. That peanut butter and chocolate taste? It's great. Yeah, especially when you eat it with a spoon. A spoon? Introducing Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. So you do it with a spoon? It's new. It's a breakfast cereal. It's got a peanut butter and chocolatey taste like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And now it's part of this complete breakfast. New Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. It's the Reese's. You eat with a spoon. the joy out of your joystick, Dr. Wily, but I'm afraid you're not in control yet. Destroy him! I'm going to make paper dolls out of you! Hey, Gutsman, 
What do you shout when you're cutting down a tree? Uh, timber? If you insist. <laughs> Smile, Megatwerp! I want to get a picture of your last moment on Earth! Thanks for the race. Now I'll have to tan your hide. Ah! You really got a charge out of that one. In time, you get a charge out of this. Shh. Hey! What's happening? The end of Mega Man is what's happening. <laughs> No! 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 <laughs> I've done it back. I've destroyed Mega Man. <laughs> hey! I thought I told you I wanted to destroy my brother. Stop! What do you think you're doing? I'm tired of playing this stupid game with your little puppets. Hey, all right, all right. You can destroy Mega Man during the real operation. Now you're talking, Doc. Prepare to leave at once for the power station. I'll show Dr. Light and his robo-fools who the real genius is. Won't I, my pet? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to unveil my latest 9000 series domestic robots. First, there's Dolores the Robo-Nanny. She feeds and changes diapers in one easy operation. Then there's Morris the Robo-Butler. He can pick out your clothes and doubles as a chauffeur. And finally, there's Doris the Robo-Maid. She cooks and cleans and never complains. But I don't do windows. Well, almost never complains. I'm glad Dr. Light designed a better Robo-Maid. Now I'll have more time to concentrate on being a <coughs> Robo-Hero. No offense, Roll, but I think you better stick to your housework. <coughs> Not so fast, <coughs> Mecho-Mutt. <coughs> Bad Robo-Dog. What am I going to do about your constant misbehaving? Try designing a robo-dog catcher. What was that? Sounded like an explosion. Come on, Rush. Let's check it out. <laughs> Someone's broken into the floor company. Better switch to stealth mode. Mr. Computer. Mega Man, you're late. You got here 30 seconds earlier in our war game. Sorry to disappoint you, Robo Bro. Did I win or lose? You were destroyed by me. Really? In that case, I'll have to return the favor. Plasma power! <laughs> Let him get your flesh! Stop, are you fool? Fools, I'll have to attach the override relay myself. Slits chips! But no bats! 
lucky for you I got a contingency plan. I placed a spy in Dr. Light's lab. Soon, Mega Man will be of no more concern to me than a fly on the wall. Care to brush your titanium teeth, sir? No thanks, Morris. The only thing that can give me cavities is dynamite. But I could use a good cleaning after a dirty battle with Dr. Wily. I'm a clean, mean, mega machine. Huh? Oh no! It's acid! It's locked from the outside. And Dr. Light reinforced the lab with super steel to keep Dr. Wily out. Only now, it's keeping me in! Stick around for more Mega Man after these messages. Bunny and I were mixing up some quick when magically we were in the spaceship of the terrible Chartometron. He's taking your chocolate. Oh. Quick will change his program. It's chocolatey quick. Quick is so hard. Peace hope. That's quick. It's magic in the making. Okay, what'd you guys do with the corn pops? No corn pops this time, Haskell. Get some rest. Big game today. No Kellogg's corn pops? Would they do that to me? Nah. Okay, hand them over. Hand over what? Okay, fine, Pinhead. Play without me. I want my pops. Oh, and that tastes like sweet crunchy popcorn. And if I can't have them, I don't play. So there. Hey, Haskell, don't let them get to you. Me? No, I just want to get out there and play. Kellogg's corn pop cereal is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. What? What not? What hot? What not? What hot? Instant Quaker oatmeal. What not? All these cold cereals. What hot? You are steaming strong, powered up. What hot? Living hot, playing hot. With this complete breakfast. What hot? 14 power packed flavors. What hot? What not? Hot not. Instant Quaker oatmeal. What hot? Mega Man! If I don't get out of here fast, this acid will eat right through my titanium skin! Hey! In here! Dr. Light! Hmm. Now, I control everything connected to the power grid. We're under attack by Dr. Wally. Send in the army. I think you've got the wrong number. <laughs> it's everything under my control. Let the Mega Man out of the way. The world is mine. <laughs> I've only got a few seconds left. Now why would anyone bar the outside of the bathroom door? Oh no! <coughs> Good timing, Dr. Light. <coughs> Another second and I would have been Mega Mush. Mega Man, what happened? Someone tried to dissolve me. It appears we've got a spy in the lab. Oh, swell. But who? Can we be of any further assistance, sir? Yes. Please clean up this mess. Right away, sir. I've got a sneaking suspicion the butler did it. There's no time to worry about that. Something's coming in over the emergency satellite scanner. Dr. Light, this is Captain Evans at Central Station. The city's being overrun by everything. Mega Man's help! Now! Ah! Dr. 
Meanwhile, he's using the electricity to control everything in the city. So that's what he was doing at the power plant. I must figure out some way to stop him. Come on, Rush. We gotta help those innocent people. Rush? Yum, yum. Ow, ow, ow. For you, we got work to do. <laughs> Let's burn paws. So long, Mega Man. We'll be there in a second, Rush. Hey, what's gotten into you? It's about us taking care of you! All right, you metal meddler! Get ready to join the junkie! Cutting you to pieces is going to be sheer delight! There's no time to play with these clowns. We've got a city to save. Let's go, Rush! What'd you do that for? Cause he's an obedient mutt! Ain't that right, Flea Brain? I'm going to trim your life, blue boy! I'm gonna flatten ya! Don't I get a say in this? Sure, what'll it be? A clip job? Or a pounding. How about both at the same time? Hey! You! I couldn't have done it better myself. What's wrong, fella? <laughs> this circuit card was controlling you. And my hunch is whoever did this is the one who gave me an acid bath. Unfortunately, there's no time to worry about that now. Come on! What's the man? A little exercise never hurt anyone. <laughs> Whatever you're up to, Wily, Dr. Light and I are gonna stop it. Mega Man! Off my sky took care of you. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, you didn't? I'd much rather destroy you myself. I'd better beat it before I become the blue plate special. Practice my backhand. Uh, oh. <laughs> Mega and Rush are in trouble. Good thing I got here in time. Mega, where are you? Welcome to the cosmetic department room. Beauty treatment. <laughs> Get that oversized powder bomb out of my face! <gasps> Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. Can't get enough of that golden crisp. Yes, sugar bear, he'll never get my golden crisp cereal in the Wild West. Howdy, Granny. Sugar bear. Sorry, the golden crisp is mine. Granny's making tracks, but nothing comes between my tummy and the honey sweet crunch of golden crisp. It's part of a complete breakfast. Partner, 
Lots more from the Sugar Bear Store. You can get a cool radio, water bottle, and more. Free with proofs of purchase plus postage and handling. Details on marked boxes of Golden Crisp cereal. You shouldn't make noise on the bus. Now, if you didn't have rules, someone would get hurt. It's very cool to follow the rules. under warranty. No, stop! Roll! I don't think you've got the color right. There. That's better. I'll handle her. No, she's mine! Our only chance is for Dr. Light to find a way to stop them at the source. I'll take us back to the lab safely. And so I am stepping down as your governor and turning over the state to Dr. Wiley. And as a fisher act of business, I'm placing my trusted friends in all key positions. You can relax now. You're all in good hands. <laughs> I've got to stop that maniac before he can do any more harm. Ah, there. This should do the trick. Dr. Light, look out! Hasta la vista, Mega Man. Mega Man, la vista, Mega Man, la vista, Mega Man, la vista. For a housekeeping robot, she sure can make a mess. 
Mega Man, if you can attach this device to the power grid, we can shut down Dr. Wily's control circuits. It's our only chance. You've got to get through. I'll do my best. by the governor's robot officers. On second thought, I guess you should be alarmed. <laughs> that little blue dweeb thinks he can sneak past me, does he? Well, I've got a surprise for him. Attention all police robo units. Mega Man is heading east on Jupiter Street. Intercept. And destroy! Robo officer in the side pocket. Yes! Ah, uh, no. I guess there's only one thing to do when you can't trust the police department. <laughs> Call the fire department. Not so fast, little brother. If you're really my brother, Proto Man, you'll do the right thing and let me stop Dr. Wily's crazy scheme. It wouldn't seem so crazy if you'd join us, bro. Not a chance. Have it your way. Wow! That really stings my circuits! This ought to fix Proto Man. Better work. What's happening? I'm losing control. You mean you've lost control? Why, you overgrown circuit breaker? Man! Destroy Mega Man! So you command, so it shall be done. Now, to finish you off. Now I've got your power! You're out of your league, Pharaoh Man! Going gone! You haven't seen the last of me, Mega Man! I'll be back! And I'll be waiting. Looks like Dr. Wily won't be bothering us for a while. But what if he tries to get control of the power grid again? He can't. The device I made had a security circuit built into it. Now that Dr. Wily's taken care of, what about his robo-spy Doris? Oh, don't worry about her. I reprogrammed her into Rush's personal servant. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Doggy, sir. <laughs> right away, sir, Mr. Doggy, sir. Mega Mega! Right back! Messages! Woohoo! Our home egg teacher, Mrs. Clean Camera! She thinks we like Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats because it's wholesome. I've taught the children that wholesome is. Way! Anyone who's breathing knows this stuff is sweet. It's loaded! With whole grain wheat. They've learned. Frosting is cool! It gives us real hope for our future domestic engineers. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats taste so good, who cares about anything else? Besides, it's part of this complete breakfast. It's so rewarding to know I've influenced their eating habits. Now there's a new Barbie I can sleep with. It's now go tonight, bedtime Barbie. I'll hold you tight, bedtime Barbie. Your whole body's soft. Let's get ready for bed. But 
You like Reese's Cups? Definitely. That peanut butter and chocolate taste? It's great. Yeah, especially when you eat it with a spoon. A spoon? <gasps> Introducing Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. So you do it with a spoon? It's new. It's a breakfast cereal. It's got a peanut butter and chocolatey taste like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And now it's part of this complete breakfast. New Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs. It's the Reese's. You eat with a spoon. Okay, kids, why are drugs bad for you? Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Drugs make you mean to everybody like a monster. Then you get real sick and skinny like a skeleton, and you can even die. Yeah, Mommy and Daddy will be so sad, they'll cry for a long time. That's right, kids. So don't buy them? Sky surfing in on the sonic waves of hyperspace comes the Sky Surfer Strike Force. Their mission, rid the world of Cybron and his sinister bioboards. It's Sky Surfer 1 and his blazing gladiators, Air Enforcer, Crazy Stunts, Sore Loser, and Sliced Ice, battling these fearsome foes. So lock on to the exciting adventures of Sky Surfer Strike Force. Sunday morning at 8.30. When a mysterious explosion destroys an artificial intelligence lab, Adam Hollister is framed. His son, Jack Hollister, sets out to prove his father's innocence, that someone else had caused the explosion and had stolen an experimental computer brain. Merging it with his own brain, he transforms into the master criminal known as Cybron. To fight Cybron and his evil bioborgs, Jack Hollister becomes Sky Surfer 1, leader of the Sky Surfer Strike Force. Crazy stunts. Slice dice. Air enforcer. Sore loser. The Sky Surfer Strike Force. BKN will be right back. It was just a quiet Lego morning. Everything was in its place. And then without a warning, invaders came from outer space. They swept the sky. They scoured the ground. And no matter where you look, they were all around. What did they come for? Well, no one knows why. But maybe it was just for a pizza pie. <laughs> Time and space collections, exciting sets to mix from Lego systems, sets and accessories sold separately. Sky Dancers! They're flying! Fly for me, just for me, Sky Dancers dance for me. Wow, they really fly! Sky Dancers, real flying dancers with magical wings and pretty dresses. And now dancing, new magic swan and magic pegasus. They're beautiful! Glide them around and they twirl. Pull the magic star and they fly. Sky dancers fly just for me. New magic swan and magic pegasus come with their own sky dancers dolls. Additional dolls and launchers sold separately. New from Galoob. And now back to BKN. Cybron, 
Yes, yes, I finished. Here, uh, see for yourself. Excellent, Easel. Excellent. This was the finest auction for cultural art I've ever been to. If I had room at home to hang them, I would have bought more than one. Come on. I want you to meet a good friend of mine. We met in college, and now she owns her own computer company. Hi, everyone. This is Jack Hollister and Nate James. Guys, say hello to Miko, Don Wyland of Drew Aviation, and Mel Foster, CEO of Rocket Industries. I once worked with an Adam Hollister, wonderful man. Unfortunately, he was blamed for a crime I never believed he was guilty of. Neither do I. He was my father. Then we have something to talk about, Jack. Perhaps you'd like to come out to the house tonight. I look forward to it. Everyone down! Cybron's Borgs, let's move! Hi guys, do we miss the party? It's just starting. Just noxious as fumes. No! I'll blow it open. No, you'll set off the alarm. Replicon. You open the lock. Seems almost alive. Who are you? Easel's the name. Painting's my game. Meet your holographic duplicate. He's been programmed to take your place. Don't look so worried. No one will know the difference. The hologram will last for 24 hours, Foster. By then, you and your friends will have made Cybron very powerful. <laughs> Meet me at the girls' place. I hope this isn't a wild goose chase, Jack. I don't think so. Foster seemed to know something that might clear my dad's name. Jack, look! Grenader and Replica! Cybron's <laughs> bioborgs are cruising in the wrong neighborhood. I'd like to know why. We got company. Split up and lose them.
too often. Sorry, partner. Bad luck. Join the club. Let's get back to Foster's. As you can see, Sky Surfer, everything's fine. I'm not so sure. Cybron's goons aren't into minor league burglaries. You got that right. It's been a strange day all around. First, Cybron's Borgs attack that yacht, then take off without much of a fight, and now this. I tell you, pal, something weird's going on. Call Mickey and Brad. Have them meet us at the yacht. What about Ken? She's with Miko. Are you sure you don't want to open your painting now? No. I'll do it when we get back. I'm looking forward to one of your home-cooked meals. Relax, Father. Evil slipped. If he... I'm here, Master Cybron. As you can see, I've got Wyland and Foster. Where is Miko, you incompetent fool? I, uh, uh she, she hasn't been captured yet, Cybron. Replicon and Grenada never showed up. It was because of Sky Suffer, you little weasel. Silence! Now listen to me, Easel. If you want to live, get her. Now. Yes, Master Cybron. Easel had better not fail, Father. You need all three to complete your plan. And don't forget Sky Surfer. If that high flyer gets in my space, I'll clip his wings permanently. So far, these tapes are a bust, Jack. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that... Zachariah Easel, one of Cybron's bio boards. Hey, what's the dude doing with those paintings? I think I know. Kim, this is Jack. What's up? Looks like the attack on the yacht today was only a diversion. So Uncle Sai has bigger plans. Yeah, and it involves your friends. I'll warn Wyland, you keep an eye on Miko. You got it. Kim, what's wrong? Well, Jack thinks she might be in danger. Me? But why? We don't know. But I'm going to find out. I'm going to need to switch clothes with you. Hey, wait a minute. Change clothes? How else can I become you? I'll start by checking out what's in that crate that was delivered to Miko. Now just stop playing! A little sleeping potion for the princess, if you please. Oh. Such a pretty picture. A shame that Cybron is going to scramble your brain. you up and keeps you going like the energy found in a good breakfast. Cereal, milk, juice, toast, and fruit. Want to play hard? Then don't skip out on a good breakfast. Get into one. Brought to you by Kellogg's. Next stop, Super Van City. Machine, Super Van City. You put it together, fold it up, take it away. Vehicle collection sold separately. Hi there. What? Where did you come from? I'm from the land of healthy fun. Come with me. I'm Mr. Funner Size. Here in Funner Size City, we have fun living a healthy life. A healthy life? Sure. We get plenty of exercise, riding bikes, and playing sports. That's fun. And eating healthy foods, fruits, and vegetables. Mm, good. And when we get mad, we learn how to stay cool. cool. It's fun to live the wellness way by keeping your body and mind healthy. Thanks, Mr. Funner Size. It's cool to say yes to a healthy world. And now back to our show. So 
what's our next move, Jack? We wait for Cybron's next move. Jack here, go ahead. This is Miko. I'm worried about Kim. Why? What's up? She went to my house disguised as me. When I called, someone answered and it wasn't Kim. Thanks. We'll take care of it. Kim's in trouble. What are we waiting for? What do you mean, who am I? I'm Miko, of course. Nice try, but no cigar. <gasps> what he means is you can't be at Kim's apartment here at the same time. Ah! Wipe out! That's what I thought. Easel's created a three-dimensional hologram. She's in it for the beach! washed up that's one hologram who won't be bothering anyone again yeah but what happened twice come in sliced ice do you read this is sky calling do you read this is sky server one calling sliced ice respond there must be some connection between you wyland and foster well we worked on several classified military projects together Maybe they're after the codes. Codes? Secret codes, divided among us so that each person only knew a third. Bingo! Now all we have to do is figure out which project Cybron's after. Not to worry, guys. Miko here is gonna tell us. You really lost it this time, loser. Hey, stunts, trust me. This hologram's basically concentrated energy. I'll just zap this puppy and make her talk. <laughs> Nah, she probably wouldn't have told us the truth anyway. So that's what this is all about. A secret government base and a killer satellite. All three parts of the secret launch code. I'm proud of you, Father. Once the satellite controls the skies, the world's governments will have to agree to your demands. Yes, Serena. They will pay handsomely for the right to safely fly their skies. It's time I looked around on my own. Let her escape! Stop her! <laughs> Seal off all exits! Search every inch of the base! Find her! Slice dice to Sky Server 1. Come in, Sky. Sky to Ice, where are you? Punching in coordinates now. Things are heating up, so get here as soon as you can. Hang on, Ice. We're on our way. Your aim's as cold as ever. She's one step ahead of us, so I'll time jump. One step ahead of her. We got this one, but we can't find Miko anywhere, Cybron. She's 
disappeared. Fool, can't you reason it out? She must have taken Miko's place. And there's no way you'll get the real Miko. Yes, there is. You're going to lead us to her. Your artificial brain must be on the blanket if you think I'm going to help you. Oh, you'll help us all right. By using Chronozoid's special powers to move through time, he'll be able to follow your time pattern straight to Miko. Stay close. I don't want to lose your time pattern. Jack finds Kim. Miko, run! Time to return to the present. I have her, Cybra. Well done, Chromazoid. Put her with the others. She'll complete the puzzle. As soon as you have the launch codes, start the final countdown. You, Slice Dice, can remain to witness my trial. Go jump. Beginning launch now. That's our target. Sky Zone. Activate the event system. Cybron's thugs got away. If the Sky Surfers hadn't shown up, I hate to think what would have happened. Well, Cybron won't be trying that stunt again. I understand the government is dismantling the satellite base. Yes, I just spoke to them. But enough about that. 
You're here to talk about your father. Uh, you indicated you might know something that could help me? Well, about a week before the explosion, your father confided in me that there was a glitch in the artificial brain he was developing. What kind of glitch? I don't know, but he wasn't sure if he could fix it. Then there's hope. Hope? That Cybron can be destroyed. It was a typical castle from Lego system, ruled by a kindly king. There were tall towers, a drawbridge, hidden compartments, secret stairways, clanking gates, ghoulish ghosts, swords, shields, spears, catapults, trap doors, bone chilling skeletons! Ah! It was a typical castle from Lego system. Lego Royal Knights, exciting new sets to collect from Lego system, each sold separately. Have you heard? The yes. news? It's cut from style Barbie. Now you can do what you never did before. You can snip, 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 and snip some more. For the very first time, cut as much as you dare. <gasps> it's just like magic. She's got long hair. Wow. Snip it, and twist it, spike it, and then add some more hair. <gasps> cut the style again. <laughs> We've only just begun. Cut the style Barbie. This is fun. <laughs> cut and style Barbie doll comes with one extra hair piece. Hair pieces attached to back of head only. Hair refills sold separately. Hi, KB. Who are your friends? Uh, my dog Donut. My buddy Marty. Oh, yeah. There's Kelly. She's okay. Who are not your friends? Well, there's these two guys at school, Jesse and Jeff. Jeff does drugs, and he tries to get us to do it, too. Hey, guys. Wanna have some fun? Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, get a life, guys. And now back to BKN.